is the Glass Cannon Network. It's going to be a real slow time in here tonight, but you guys are fired up! My computer reset, so all my notes are gone. Oh, my goodness. It is, uh, it's in Windows right now, which is fun. And the only reason it does that is so I can play Gloomhaven. But now I can play Gloomhaven on the Mac, so this is just, this is just rough. Um... What was I going to say? I'm always worried when we do a uh, matinee that it's just going to be an elderly crowd. <laughs> All the blue hairs come out for the matinee. I don't know if you know this, but most of our uh, audience is 70 plus. <laughs> Did you know that? Uh, but so just, just to be safe, we'll keep everything PG-13 uh, this afternoon. And no, we'll not talk about our enormous fantasy penises <laughs> defiling monster corpses. <laughs> That's Matthew's thing. He's always going on and on about his huge fantasy character's dong. Just God, I hope your notes come back. Going to town. <laughs> please, please, God. Going to town on a dead orc. Uh, that's Matthew's weird role-playing kink. No, but seriously, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being paranoia about getting COVID this weekend, and 10 being fired up to watch five men play pretend, where are we at today? Good. You just got COVID. You just, you just got COVID from that cheer from the crowd. Uh, we have a special guest with us this evening. He is the publisher of Paizo Inc., and he is also one of our closest friends. Give it up for Eric Mona. Hello. Eric. 
how are you, buddy? We, we got you doing a lot of shows uh, this yeah. weekend. You're a busy boy. I am having a great time. It's been great to be in the on floor studio uh, working with you guys, and now to be here at the Helium Comedy Club. Holy crap! Isn't this nice? Very nice. You get to see all their faces. I cannot see shit, but it is nice. <laughs> <laughs> You can smell who's been showering and who hasn't. Well, thank you for coming out here. We always like having you, and we especially like having a uh, tiny murder clown. <laughs> oh, no. I look excited to contrivedly shoving him into the adventure tonight. <laughs> um, now I'd like to introduce you to uh, three other men whose significant others don't care about size. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? That was it. That's all I got. <laughs> in the girth. No. Um, you have a lot to say about our penises. You, you know, know I just, it's my front door joke. I go for wieners. I'm a hack, damn it. <laughs> Anybody else stay up till 3 a.m. drinking 300 beers? No. <laughs> cool. Yep, there they are. I hear you know, them. You guys missed out. Got a lot of networking done. Um, no, first up is a writer and beard enthusiast who enjoys musical theater and correcting people's grammar in polite conversation. Give it up for Matthew Cabanacasa! Go on. Go on. <laughs> wow. Too much. Is it? It is all old ladies. I know, I guess it is. <laughs> Bunch of mother-in-laws in the audience tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, big Matthew crowd. Apparently. Or maybe just, maybe just a big beard crowd. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, you, you were busy. You just went over to the booth and played for two hours and then ran back here. That's true. I had a blast. Yeah? How are you feeling? I'm, uh, well, I just played Scum and Villainy with, with Jared Logan. Awesome. As you know, great game, uh, but also Jared is an excellent GM, so I've never played with Jared right before playing with you, so I, I worry about you. <laughs> he brings you up, and I'll bring you down. <laughs> um, obviously, we miss Grant this evening, but I'm glad to have Eric here, and sadly, Matthew is with us, but we are very thankful uh, to have the first member of the network that will uh, benefit from our currently non-existent retirement plan. <laughs> we need to get one of those. Give it up for Skidmore, folks. Oh, Skidmore. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Skid! Thank you. Skid, I was thinking about this. Do you ever think, like, do you think about when you'll retire from doing this? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty right much now, constantly. <laughs> Are we going to be just like doing Glass Cannon Live in a strip mall, opening for <laughs> Ario Speedwagon? Well, that's the thing. It's like it's not like it's not like football. Like I can just keep doing this as long as my mouth still works. But yeah, uh, yeah. But will we look lame if we're really old doing it, trying to trying to bring the funny, and we're telling the Oliver North jokes and stuff, and stuff, <laughs> stuff that's wildly out of touch with a young audience. We are really old in tel telling Oliver North jokes. <laughs> yeah, I know. How about that Jessica Hahn? She's, she's quite, a, quite a firecracker, right? <laughs> right? Um, but the important yeah. thing is, quickly, yeah. uh, for those who were at the last show and disappointed in any way, I believe... Thank God. What did you do different to get it to work? Uh, it's, my computer is made out of magic, and it sometimes will catch some kind of field, and it's just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but the staff is very helpful, too. They managed to fig figure out some problems as well, so, yeah. That's good. And now you'll at least know how to fix it next time. Sure, just you... wait. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and lastly, uh, you know him uh, as, as Joe O'Brien. Don't get too excited. He uh, went to bed at 7.30 p.m. last night. No. No. Shouldn't have done that. Everybody knows that Gen Con starts at 9 p.m. because you're going to go out and you got to network. He is so unflinchingly rigid in his terrible decision-making. Just drives you nuts. Joe O'Brien. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> Matthew, 
There, there they are. Man. There they are. Shut up, LaValle. No, they have to tie the Jet Con show. <laughs> you lose that title. Matthew was out till 12.30 a.m. <laughs> Matthew! <laughs> he opened the tab, and you were sleeping. The difference is that when Matthew is out till 12.30 a.m., he can have an amaretto sour at 9.15 <laughs> and drink water the rest of the night and be completely fine. I'm incapable of doing that. If I go out, it doesn't stop until I go to sleep. And then I just feel terrible the next day. We are terrible. Ha- we are having amaretto sours tonight. You know that. You just sealed the deal. Are we going to be bad? We're going to be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> amaretto sours are delicious. <laughs> A round of amaretto, please. Yeah. Um, it's too much sugar. Uh, this has been... Uh, there's still two days left, obviously, but I think this has been the g- best Gen Con experience of our lives. That's what right? I said last night. Best Gen Con ever. Yeah, has everybody come by the booth? Booth 174? Yeah. yeah. I saw you there, and you there, too. You were there. Uh, obviously, it's, it's just been wild. This was an idea that came together pretty last minute, and I'm shocked at how well uh, the team has pulled it off. And so thank to, to all of you that have helped us to do stuff like this. Yes, uh, so thank this you, guys. Thank you. Very, very yeah. exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. It is your support that allows us to take big risks like this, and uh, we've already booked a uh, booth twice the size for next year's Gen Con. So. Maybe three times the size. They weren't as excited about that. All right, twice the size. A 60-foot booth? Half the size? <laughs> um, as usual, I have a lot I want to get through tonight, and we'll get through about a quarter of it. Uh, so I'm not going to waste any time. Can you take it to the recap? Oh, boy. It's a, oh, yeah. I don't know if you can Come take on, it to guys. the recap. Got, oh. Why is it so weird all the time? See the space bar. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Grant Berger. Thank you, Grant. Pretty good recap that was only four or five seconds late. Um, <laughs> let's talk about this recap. This is a short one. Our heroes, in case you haven't been following the story and you stumbled in here thinking it was Dane Cook, <laughs> prepare to be disappointed. Um, our heroes. You know have- it's not Dane Cook because his fans tend to be much younger. <laughs> That's true. Whoa. Um, oh, no. You just insulted the crowds, kid. <laughs> How dare you do an age joke? I was going after Dane Cook. Forgot. Don't you read Too the late. news? Too late. Our heroes have been doing their best to navigate an area of the dimension of dreams known as the Dreamlands. They are trying to track down a man named Count Hazerton Lowell's the fourth, a man some of them used to work for, who at some point during their employ sacrificed their minds and memories and locked them away in an asylum. Now that they're out, they've been trying to find him, and eventually they discover that he is on the hunt for some very specific knowledge. At some point during his research, he enacted a ritual to enter the dreamlands to continue his studies. While he was there, he met someone named the Mad Poet, who told him that the knowledge he seeks is in a book called The Necronomicon, which is located far away to the south. So you're taking a boat <laughs> down the river to find this Lowell's to chase him, but you have all this shit of his, and so you, you start reading his books and whatnot, and you find the ritual he used. So you enact Lowell's dream ritual, whereby you meet a man somewhere in your memories. You think this man to be Lowell's himself, but he says, oh no, I am not Lowell's. I am the... I was the... Uh, there I am. I am the Yellow King. The Yellow King explains to you you want to know more about the Lowell situation. Uh Uh-oh. I'm going to kill. (laughs) I mean, there is no greater horror for you than your your microphone going away. (laughs) Hello? Can you hear me? 
<laughs> I can project. I can feel it. Twenty-five years. <laughs> I used to print the boards of all the fans. Your mic is unplugged, Troy. <laughs> Apparently, you haven't uh, been mic'd on stage for twenty-five years. Yeah. We didn't have microphones in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't need them when you had a voice like mine. <laughs> I could whisper a soliloquy from King Lear and they'd hear me in the back row. If only you had performed solilo- soliloquy from Carousel, you would have learned how to use a microphone. I don't know what Carousel is. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was I talking about? You met this guy, you thought he was Laos? Nope. He's the Yellow King, and the Yellow King explains to you that if you want to know more about Lowell's and his situation, you should also seek an audience with the Mad Poet as well. But in order to do so, you should do what Lowell's did. Travel the dreamlands in search of specific gifts to give the Mad Poet in order to gain his favor. So you research the first gift and travel to an opulent and creepy ball to secure a Viscount's signet ring. The second gift is a purple and blue mottled feline tail that you discover while doing your research belongs to a creature known as a pard that lives somewhere in the enchanted forest in the dreamlands. So, you enact the ritual. You travel to this forest and are attacked by a terrible anthropomorphic horse creature known as a tickbalan. More familiarly, Michael. His name was Michael, and I say was, because after a thrilling and brutal battle, you finally defeat him. As you do so, a group of tentacle-faced rodents emerge from the shadows. They are creatures known as Zoogs, native inhabitants of the trees of the Enchanted Forest. Your newest companion, a barbarian who spent his life in the dreamlands after getting lost from his parents, was raised by Zoogs and became their king. But they no longer recognize this pretender Xantar as their ruler. Xantar challenges their new king. What was his name? Charlie Thumbbottom. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Challenges this tiny one and a half foot zoob to single combat and annihilates him. <laughs> While they do not recognize Xantar as their king again, they do. They are impressed by his prowess in battle and they agree to give you the pard tail you seek if you rid the area of tigers who hunt the boughs above and bring them the sweet feline corpses in return so that they may feast. You push ahead, and when the branches and leaves open to the bright sun above, Sir Julie notices flickering lights in the bright sunlight, creatures flying towards you, going in and out of visibility in the bright light. They are known as lurkers in light. And they attack. But first, Let's flash back to the Selen Starling, the boat that you're on, as it glides across the calm waters of the Selen River. We see the little halfling captain, Skywind Freeling, talking to her crew. She's like, but she's Irish. All right, listen up, men. (laughs) Those weirdos we brought on the boat at Thrushmore are having another one of their dream orgies below deck. I made a deal with them that then when they return, they're gonna swab the deck and clean up all the river drake shit and stuff. So, you leave it there, they'll clean it up. (laughs) However, in the meantime, and as she's talking, Fingers O'Toole yells out, man overboard! And all the crew rushes to the side of the deck and they look down and sure enough, there's some creature flailing in the water. So they grab some poles with hooks on them and they lower them into the water and they try to pull this creature onto the boat. And when they do, they notice it's someone they've seen before. A very small gnome dressed in a brightly colored (laughs) ghillie suit. (laughs) It's Tiny Murder Clown! Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you for saving me! There are many things that I do best, but swimming is not one of them! (laughs) Are you all right, little one? We, We thought you were dead for sure when you got pulled overboard by those things we fought four or five episodes ago. Yes, 
I've been floating in this river all along, shouting for your attention, and no one has heard me <laughs> until now. I've been hanging on to some seaweed for the trailing from the back of the boat. This is embarrassing, you know. I heard that yelling, but I thought it was my dreams. Often in my dreams, in my waking nightmares, I hear people screaming. Never once did I think to look behind the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Never occurred to me once. It might want to start. <laughs> and you've been swimming ever since. Well, I've been dragged along. I'm so sorry. And I've been pretty lonely. Oh. I miss my oldest friends. Well, your weird friends are downstairs <laughs> below deck. I'd knock before entering. I never know what's going on down there. No, no, not them. I meant Fingers O'Toole, Fanny Kreminger, Dinky Fustable, Pedro <laughs> Alakabam, Porkchop McIntyre, and Spinny Pie. <laughs> well, <laughs> woo. Well, then you're in luck. They're all here. Well, that's good. I'm going to go see my other friends now. No, we should just <laughs> role play this while your friends are on the boat. Spinny Pow, unfortunately, is taken ill. She oh. got dysentery and she's in the toilet or whatever we call it on a boat. <laughs> the head. But, you, know the head. Where the, you know where your people dump those buckets, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. This isn't a ghillie suit. <laughs> <laughs> that is embarrassing. And again, I felt as if as they were doing it, the screams got louder. But again, it was just my past haunting me. It was you yelling as we dumped shit onto your head. Didn't you hear me say, I got some in my mouth? <laughs> yes, but again, I thought it was a very specific memory of mine. More the fool I was to not take two seconds to look out the back of the boat. Do you know how hard it is to sleep in the water? I imagine it's very difficult. You look quite haggard and hungry. We'll be stopping soon to resupply and sir. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> go see your other friends. I better go see my friends. Where were they? You say They're downstairs, just take that door, take a right at the landing, and like I said, knock. I should let you know though, one of your friends is in the brig. He did some weird stuff. And so we need to lock him away until Nashville. And <laughs> I he's, see. he's down there and you can, you can talk to him. But don't give him any food and don't try to break him out or I'll throw you back in the water. Um, I'm sure he's enjoying his solitude. Where's the rest of them? Down these stairs? Down those stairs. You can't miss them. Okay. <sighs> I just shake off some more water. Do you have a towel? No, I'm so sorry. Okay. We don't carry towels on the boat. You dry oh, under the sun, just like our forefathers did. Okay, I'll go downstairs. All right, see ya. Sir Julie, where are you guys? It's your old friend, Tiny Murder Cloud. <laughs> so you I'm go back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Imagine hearing that when you're asleep. I know, oh, like coming God. into your bedroom. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, any room for me to snuggle in? <laughs> you get down the stairs. I just want to be held. <laughs> you get down the stairs, the door is uh, closed. Oh. If you knock, no answer. Knock again, no answer. You open it. You go in there. Ta-da! And you don't hear anything. There is a staircase in the middle of the deck leading below deck and you would think where you are there shouldn't be much more to the ship that if anything if you walk down those steps it would lead you directly into the water and as you stare at this you do hear a voice in the back and you see your old pal Halster Price sitting in a cell and he talks to you in his trademark voice <laughs> greetings fair gnome it is good to see you this day. Halster, what have you done to get in the clink? Oh, I, terrible things. I shaved a rat and stuck needles in him. What? <laughs> it's a long story. I'm haunted by my past. But the point is, I deserve to be in here. And so here I shall stay. But your friends, they went down those stairs. Follow them. 
Okay, but if you need help for any tips, escaping is what I do sixth best. No, no, I deserve this. Talk to me in Nashville. I'm sure I won't. Bye! (laughs) (laughs) And I walked down the stairs. Pretty good. Pretty good, Mona. You walk down the stairs, and as you walk, you're shocked at how far these stairs go down, and you keep walking, and then slowly the stairs begin to turn into, like, knotted wood, and you see branches and stumps and leaves start to grow out of the stairs as eventually you find yourself on a giant oak tree somewhere else in another world. However, when you do so, you hear a screaming, and Sir Julie and Atticus and Aldo, you are standing there as you hear Xantar just scream and go in and out of focus as you see Xantar and Tiny Murder Clown like shifting back and forth in reality until finally Xantar is gone and he's here and oh, nobody no. asks any questions about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's the craziest thing. <laughs> and then you roll for initiative. No. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's good. You got your drops. Yeah, I got it. Roll, make a roll, make a roll, 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 roll for initiative. Oh, I needed those drops back. Yes. Joe, take me to the missed. map. Let's see this forest here. This forested area. Now, if you remember, I said Sir Julie was the only one that hit a perception check to even see these creatures coming toward you. There are perhaps four of them, little tiny bug fairy creatures, bulbous heads, huge eyes. Let's talk about initiative. Sir Julie, what did you get? 21. And I'd like to remind you that because of my pilgrim's token, if I tie with anyone for initiative, I go first. Oh, oh, interesting. I don't care. <laughs> Atticus Grimm, what did you get? 21. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly I care. It's a roll off. No, it's, it's not. It's a roll off. It's a roll off. It's a roll off. Because of my <laughs> faith in every... Saren Ray, I beat you. <laughs> uh, okay. 21. <laughs> what about you, uh, Aldo? Uh, Aldo Casimir got a 24. 24. Okay. I am not subject to the rules of your trinket. <laughs> what about Tiny Murder Clown, a.k.a. Furble Haas? Yeah, I got a 15. 15. All right. Here we go. This is what's going to happen. Very, very interesting here. Way up to the uh, north area, you see... Let's say even all of you can see, but Sir Julie, you certainly see a creature start flying close to you, but not on top of you. Let me reveal what this creature looks like. Shut up, God. Oh, I hate them so much. Oh, this is awful. Oh, cool? I hate them. It's a cool creature. That's the two E art. It just moves towards you and then fires this moat of light at you, Sir Julie. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it hits. Uh, that is going to be a 31. Yes, that hits. Oh, awesome. A couple things are going to happen. I First they will. thing that's going to happen is that you take some damage. You take uh, five plus seven points of force damage. Ooh. And then I need a will save as this light that comes out from its hand hits you and starts to explode around you, covering you in a glow. 29. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> you would almost say that you're immune to this glow for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Now it moves again, okay? But here's the thing. As it moves, it disappears. It becomes invisible. Oh. And now, it is Aldo's turn. Skid, you were struggling with your alchemist the other day. I was. Did you learn anything new over the past 48 hours? A little. Uh, All right, so first thing I'm going to do is try to identify this creature 
and particularly any weaknesses that it might have. So would okay. this be Arcana again? Sure. If okay. you have nature, it'd be better, but I'll take Arcana. Uh, I could, well, nature I could also do. Uh, I'll do a nature. Uh, 30. Okay. Uh, looking for weaknesses, as you do. Applauding for a knowledge check. This is going to be good. Thank, thank you. Oh, my God. I'm so touched. Ooh. Oh, God. I have so many people to thank. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank our agent, uh, Kevin. Um, <laughs> I thank my parents, obviously. Uh, yeah. uh, obviously, you know it's a lurker in light. Right. I spoiled that. Uh, it has a weakness uh, to cold iron. Okay. Have any cold iron weapons? Sir Julie, you rocking cold iron over there? I believe I am. Okay. Not metal currently, help. but... And then what else? So basically, it has a reaction that it can do every round. When it moves, it can go invisible. Okay? Okay. So deal with that. All right. I wish I... I had something to help with that. All right, so I can't see. I can't see it. I can't see any enemies right now. You can't see any of them. They are uh, currently undetected to you. Okay, I am going to prepare an action. I am going to throw a a tanglefoot bag at the creature if and when it appears, or if any of them appear. If I there see any flying enemies, I will throw a tanglefoot bag. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can use a seek action to try and detect it. If you detect it, then it's hidden to you, and you can still attack it, uh, but you have to roll a flat check to see if it hits. The square uh, the okay, yeah. All right, I'll seek it. I'll do a seek action. Okay, seek action. This is going to be against its stealth D sizzle. Uh, 23. 23, you say. Nailed it. Okay. Okay? So here's what I'll tell you. Somewhere to the south here, you detect there is one about 10 feet away from you. So if you want to attack it now, it's a flat check, DC 11. You can either roll that before or after the attack. Okay, so I, he's going to, like, whew, he senses this thing behind him, and he's going to quickly, like, pour a couple of uh, ingredients together, like, from his bandolier, and, boom, throw this beaker in the direction of what he detected, He's going to toss a lesser Tanglefoot bag in its direct. Oh, Natty 19. Whoa. Uh, that all might right. Be a crit. So that is a that is a 35. That is a critical. Uh, okay. Right. But we won't we won't do the fan critical until unless it's a natural 20. So that's just going to be double damage. Okay. So now I got to do the flat check. Yeah. Now. God. And it's 11 or higher. 11 or higher. I'm sorry. I got you all excited. 19 again. Oh. <laughs> He's trading okay. 19s on a Saturday afternoon. Okay, so on a critical hit, uh, it, it, it is uh, doo -doo -doo. a creature is immobilized for one round, and a creature flying via wings has its wings tangled, causing it to fall safely to the ground and become unable to fly again for one round. Wow, okay, that was... Occasionally, these things work out, Skid, and yeah. that is a very good one for you to get. Uh, so you hit it, give me double damage, and then... Uh, there's then... no damage. It just, it's immobilized. Oh, and I it see. can't fly. Yeah. Okay, still kind of fun. Yeah. You used a seek action. You <laughs> didn't attack. Was pulling out all that shit to make the bomb an action? No, no, it was uh, the knowledge check. The knowledge check, thank yeah. you. I did. I used quick alchemy to do the well, other thing. Maybe I couldn't have thrown it on that round. Anyway. Good story. G cut me some slack. I had a terrible time last time. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm going to take 17 free actions. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> As compensation for what happened to me last As show. For your faulty plug. My faulty uh, plug. All right. It is Sir Julie's turn. Sir Julie, you've learned from your friend Aldo that they are weak to cold iron. What do you do? Uh, I can see, if I can't see the creature, I can at least see the tangle, the Tanglefoot bag gripping it. You and sure can. To the south of Aldo, you see a Tanglefoot bag gripping nothing. I now, see. normally, if a creature goes invisible in front of you, it is hidden to you instead of undetected. However, it became invisible while it's moving, so you have no idea where that one was that attacked you. Just don't want to hear it from Joe in the morning. But I you wasn't do, listening. I know. You do see a Tanglefoot bag right schma on the map. Where is Shma? Shma. I, I stride to Shma. Okay. If, you, if you're pinging it, I don't see it. Okay, I'll put your Shma where the Shma is. 
There it is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, and then I will strike once with my great sword. I do have a cold iron dagger, but the damage is just so paltry compared to the great sword. So, don't need your life story. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a thirty to hit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Correction. Okay. Correction. Thirty-one. Thirty. Well, that changes everything because a thirty-one is still just a basic hit. Yeah. Now, here's the thing: I'm still going to need a DC eleven flat check from you because technically it is hidden. Okay, 15. Okay, give me that sweet damage. Okay, all right. Uh, that is going to be uh, 20 points of damage. Whoa! Ooh. That's more damage than you did all Thursday. That's just <laughs> not true. <laughs> it sounds fun to say, It though. sounds fun. Do it there, Matthew. It's a comedy club, Matthew. It's had a Come truth on. club. Wasn't it hilarious, those of you who were there, how much damage I did on Thursday? <laughs> Don't encourage him. Okay, <laughs> second attack is a 27. 27 is also a hit. Give me yes. a DC 11 flat check. Uh, this is going to be a miss. Uh, 10, I miss. I knew it. It sets it. It okay. sets it in my bone. You can feel his failure. That's my turn. <laughs> okay, is that it? That all you're going to do? That's my turn. Great. Good round. It's time for my lurkers in light to pounce. Oh, and it just so happens that it is the one right next to you. Now, Skid, it can't fly, right? Well, it cannot fly. Before you go, it, they rolled a 21? Yes. Wow. That is a bastard. Yeah. You get to go after them. Don't ever interrupt me again when I'm attacking. Uh, all right, so this one Wait, is going to... Wait, are you serious? To... They really rolled a 21? Yeah. So your I, thing works I, like my crazy. My random obnoxious joke... Hit two separate ties. <laughs> you're, you're killing. Hey, is that George Carlin over there? <laughs> He's killing it with his random joke. <laughs> Shut up. I said something in the universe is happening right now. All right. This thing's going to claw you. Unite. Here we go. This, here comes the claw. Uh, all right. That is going to be a, is a natural one a hit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Are you going to fan credit for the fan fumble? Oh, the day they will tumble, fan fumble. Okay. <laughs> Give it to me straight. What is it? Uh, uh, were you swinging or were you shooting a ray? I, I was hitting him with a claw. Neither. It's a melee claw. Natural you, attack if you have it. Just that melee on this sweet new app. Uh, wow. Okay. Closest one is Ben from... Georgetown, Kentucky. Hi, Ben. Ben? Ben? Uh, ow, my John. <laughs> you hit your own John. <laughs> hey, when that happens. In just the right place. Roll a fortitude save. Roll a fortitude save. Uh, I rolled a 22. Uh, fail. You gain the sickened two condition. Oh, wow. Awesome. Wow. Oh, that's brutal. Remind me sickened? I'll look it up. Okay. Can we, just, bad. can we just compliment Ben on the best use of John in the world? Yeah. It just is so adaptable. Right. It's so adaptable. He could have he been, been any creature. Yeah. Any of us. Yeah. Uh, sickened. I don't like that. Did you look it up? Uh, yeah. What is it? Uh, it is, you feel ill. Sickened always includes a value. You take a penalty equal to this value on all your checks and DCs. That's what I you thought. You can't willingly ingest anything. Uh, including elixirs and potions while sickened. You can spend a single action attempting to retch, which it gives you an immediate fortitude save against the DC of the effect. What is the DC? I don't know. You said I failed it. Well, 22 is low. All right, I'm going to retch. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he GMs, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's a show. <laughs> All right. Well, let me let me know if I hit the DC well, when uh, I retch, Joe. Well, the DC should probably be. Hey, her you eight. take this thing. The DC should be Sir Julie's AC. I mean, that's what okay. it typically. Is. Yeah, we haven't talked this to already. Well, see, I mean, uh, it should probably be the class DC of wh whoever did it at this point. I guess there's some popular support for the notion. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, that could be it too. But I don't know what that is. Uh, excuse Off me. I'm talking to the GM. Skid. What is it again? Every every character has a, a a class DC that applies to like a wide range of abilities. Let me talk life. to my other assistant GM. Oh, yeah. Get out of the way. Get that giant Irish head out of the way. What is your class DC? He's not gonna know. How do I, I find it? I figured that. Ready and wretches. Oh god! 
God! What did you do to me? All right, that's a good roll. That's a 23. That's probably still a miss. It wretches again. Oh, God! Damn it, all right. So that's my whole round. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Nice Ben from Kentucky. Well, that sucks. All right, wait a minute. Oh, I still have Xantar here. So I couldn't find Tiny Murder Clown's pawn. However, I did found, find this pawn called Frantic Gnome. Nice. <laughs> that one fun? That is so good. <laughs> My limbs have never looked so good. <laughs> we put a lot of hours in oh, to make sure that we don't use the I'm nice so art that Angeline made. <laughs> Instead, use Frantic Gnome. <laughs> That's probably copyrighted. Um, all right, here we go. There is another <laughs> one. Look at him on there. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, so that frantic gnome is just. Was there a manic gnome? <laughs> <laughs> just another manic. All right, this one is going to come over here. Ah, oh, look at that stupid rat. It flies over near Atticus Grimm, and it's going to shoot a motor light at your stupid face. Come on! Natty 19, that is going to be a 33, dude. That is a crit. Oh, oh. no. Critical threat, critical threat, critical, critical, critical threat. 18 points of damage, give me a will save. Ah. Fail it. Fail it like the failure you are. 26. Damn it. Yes. You could say you're unaffected for the next 24 hours. Sweet. However, this creature then moves again, and as it does, Disappears. Disappears. And now, now it is Atticus's turn. Uh, okay, Atticus is going to boom, 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 boom. Uh, a long time to think about okay. this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna put some briars in there. Something weird. Another illusion. Illusion. The illusions. Michael. Uh, no briars today. Well, I shouldn't speak too soon. It's early. It's early yet. Uh, Atticus is going to fire a ray of frost at the um, one that's in front of Sir Julie. Okay. Will you take Uh, a penalty to that since she's in the way? Or is it it an unerring ray? I don't think she's in the way. But if you want her to be in the way, I will move. You mean the character that's in front of you and the creature? I got a clear line to the creature. Oh, yeah? You want me to move? I'll move. No, you can. I ain't afraid of moving. No, this is okay. Take your shot. (laughs) All right. In front of this beautiful audience. Ray, up, jot, dropped, die. God damn it. <laughs> Talk, Suddenly not missing the drops so much. <laughs> uh, I think that actually is a hit. 21. 22 is their AC. So that would be a miss. Oh. Okay. Uh, Second action? That is or was that, two that was the two. That's yeah, a two-action cast. And you moved to get there? Uh, no, I didn't. So I will. That thing had attacked me, so he will move away okay. uh, from the group uh, just to get away from that thing that was attacking. Me. Okay. And went invisible. How fun! It is the last lurker in lights turn. Unfortunately, uh, tiny murder clown rolled the lowest of the bunch, Ooh. and uh, luckily you moved right next to one of these things, Atticus. And it comes out as it attacks you with its claw. Actually, I got some spells, don't I? Oh, I forgot I got spells! I'm gonna hit you with some searing light. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Here we go. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, Ugh, shitty roll. That is gonna be a 20 to hit. That's a miss. Yes! yes! Holy smokes. Yeah. Oh, and that was two actions. Shit, that would have been Beautiful. brutal. All right, all right. So instead, I'm just going to uh, move and disappear once again. See ya, rat. <laughs> <laughs> it says in its weird fey voice, goodbye, rat. <laughs> it's tiny murder clown's <laughs> turn to finish out round one. All right. Come on, tiny. Oh, they Come glow on. with an inner energy. It must come from their souls. I will swallow their souls and I wrap up my fists and I jog over to him. <laughs> and for some reason, my arms are going like this. 
And I take my little stick arms and I flurry them at him. Boo, 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 boo. And I try and punch him a couple times. <laughs> All right, so you go right up to the one that uh, Sir Julie is attacking. I sure do. And give it the give it the old college try. I want in on this action. And I flurry blows. Um, first is 30. 30, okay. That's Their it. Second is a miss. Oh. What was it? Uh, well, it was 15. That is a miss. Yeah. Uh, all right, give me the flat check uh, where it is still. Oh, no, it attacked Sir Julie, and it didn't go invisible, so it is visible, no flat check. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, how about instead you give me a uh, saving throw from the Stunning Fist, DC 23. Ooh. What? Is that fortitude? That's fortitude, yeah. The old Stunning Fist. Useless. First edition. Tell your boss. <laughs> 22. Let me take a note. So, yeah, this is really so is. 22 fortitude save. Oh, well, then you fail. You're ah, stunned. Come on. I'm stunned by this fist. Yes, you are stunned for one round. Oh, but I still have one more attack. So I'm going to throw out my final actions and attack. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. 19 rolled plus. Uh, I should really play this character more often. 27. Not a crit, definitely a hit. Uh, there you go. There you go, tiny. And I'm so, stunned. Yeah, well, you're already stunned. Uh, did, but did I give you? I didn't give you damage the first time either. You did not. Okay, so let's do a whole bunch. So, boy, yes. howdy! Wow, that was terrible. Uh, seven. 15 plus 12 is 27 points of damage. Nice. 27 points of damage. And by the way, am I stunned one? Yeah. So I lose my... Uh, you didn't critically fail, did you? No, no you I did. You by one. Yeah, so you I lose my one. next turn. Oh, that's a bummer. Or I lose one action. <laughs> you lose, lose an one action. action. Yeah. yeah, you lose an action. Um, okay, great. 27 points of damage. And then did you hit on that last one? No, that was all of the hits. I got gotcha. you. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. One is stunned. At least three others are still invisible. You oh. go into round two. And it is the first lurker in Light's turn. I like oh. when it's your turn, because I can just sit and read. But I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy comes up. <laughs> and it's going to shoot a mode of light. Actually, no, I'm going to do a spell on you. I'm going to do searing light on you, Aldo. No. This no. is way more damage. No. Okay, 25. Uh, that is a heat. Yikes. Okay, this is a lot of damage. Uh, the ray deals 5d6 fire damage. No! Are you Ouch. a fiend or undead? Uh, I Not as far as I know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, a couple of two sixes already. Uh, 19. Three sixes I rolled, oh, so that's no. going to be 23 points oh, of damage. Oh, no. Okay. It just says, taste the rainbow. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Searing light fire. Uh, and that's its turn, so it will stay visible because it moved, and that was a two-action spell. Yes. And now okay. it is your turn. My turn? Yes. All right, great. So it is visible. It is. Right, so I'm going to do a quick alchemy and make another Tanglefoot bag. Okay. And That is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to throw it at the creature. Okay. Uh, yes, that is a 29 to hit. That's a hit. <laughs> All right. So it is immobilized. Uh, That's so then... smart because it can only use its like invisibility thing when it moves. That's the trick. Yeah, so right. I... Yeah, that's actually, I didn't think of that. We rarely awesome. ever do things like smart. So it was, And you didn't mean to do it. Yeah. You should have just owned it. And... It's immobilized. <laughs> And then, uh, with my remaining action, I'm going to turn about and toss an alchemist, moderate alchemist fire at these one that is still immobilized. My last tanglefoot back. Okay. Oh yeah, man, I'm crushing it. Uh, oh, that is a uh, 32. That is a 32 to hit. That is exactly a critical. Yes. Wait, yeah. Critical threat. Wait, 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 wait. Threat. Critical. Critical. Critical threat. Joe has to pee in your Cheerios real quick. Go ahead, Joe. I just told you off. I didn't so hear you. you. I didn't hear what you said. Say Did it you to take the multiple attack penalty? That's what he said. That, uh, oh, right. So okay. it's a hit. I'm sorry, it's I'm just, sorry. I was, I was thinking of it as a spell. Why are you going to make him feel bad? All right, never mind. You told me to do it. I would uh, never say that. Okay, but it's still, it's, it is still a hit. So that is 
Uh, that is ten points of fire damage. Ten points of fire damage. Okay, and that guy's it is on rough. fire. And it is on fire. That guy is on fire. Yeah, that fire guy is on right. fire. Yeah, Aldo. What a round. Good thing what we're not around any wood. Sir Julie, can you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fire in the forest, you'll be fine. <laughs> Sir Julie, can you finish this flaming fairy off? Uh, I'm going to try. I, that wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Please. Just. Please. Did you hear what Troy said in the show? That was not meant to be taken the way you took it. It was meant to be literal. My God, you know us better than that. <laughs> it is actually a fairy that is on fire. Calm down. That's a pretty good defense, We're Troy. doing too well to be canceled. <laughs> that's when they get you. Uh, that's a 27 to hit. 27 to hit is a hit. Jesus. I do. <laughs> I'm assuming I do not need to roll a flat check and it's still visible. Yes. Okay. That is 18 points of damage. It's dead along with everything I yes. said. Yes. Good lord. All right. uh, okay. How many actions left? Two. Sir Julie will stride to the other one in the other Tanglefoot bag, which is also still visible, it appears. Okay. And I'll swing with my second attack. All right. Uh, Don't forget your multiple attack penalty, as Joe pointed out to Skid moments ago. <laughs> right. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Hits, no, 20, hit. 23 to hit. Hits. I was going to say hits exactly. Okay. That is also 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. One. And these are some effective characters. This is neat. <laughs> okay, one lurker in light is gone, but there are still three that remain. Let's see which ones. Two of them are to go right now. We have no argument you, with you, creature. Be gone. We don't like you. Uh, to the north, one appears, uh, and it's going to do a spell on you. A little bit of fairy dust flies through the air and lands right on your eyes. I do believe in fairies. Give me a fortitude <laughs> save. Uh, I know what this is going to be. Natural one. Oh, oh no. God! This is great. This is great. Critical success, the target is unaffected. Success, the target is blinded until the next turn. That's success. That's success. Failure, the target is blinded for one minute. Critical failure. The knight is permanently blinded. <laughs> Amazing! Oh my god! This is exactly what happened to Baron. Exactly. exactly. The exact same fucking thing. In an enchanted forest. Yes. I know! Yeah, it's it's the the same branch. fucking thing. Right, on a wooden bridge. And this is not a mental effect. This is not a mental effect. It's literally dust covering my eyes. Um... Yes, you're blind. You don't think you're blind. You're blind! Yeah, it's not hysterical blindness. It's just blindness. Right. Your, your optic so nerve mad. is connected to your brain, and I will want to use a hero point. Thank you, audience. <laughs> yeah! Can I? No, you can't do it. It's after the fact. Sorry, well, audience. He knew it was a fumble. He knew it was a fumble already. Because he rolled a natural Should I let run. him use it? How many people think yes? Yeah! Seven or eight people. Real 50-50. Yeah. yeah. How many people think no? Yeah! That sounded like way more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Use your hero point. But I hope when you go to bed tonight that you know what you are. You are right over there? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I roll a natural 18. You make me sick. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, the spell is good. You could still buy me you from... You munchkin! Grant's at home! <laughs> He's our normal munchkin. Uh, <laughs> so that is going to be a 31. 31. Yeah, it's a hit. <laughs> wait, you mean... Thir no, yeah, you, you, you succeed. So wait a minute. I'm still blind. Yeah, Why? no, you're, you're blind for the next turn. Great. Okay. I forgot it was my attack. I'm all over the place here because you, <laughs> you ruined remember, everything. Do you remember when you said you root for us? I don't root for you anymore. <laughs> Give me a plus 
play like this. You still right. about to blind me. I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot a motor light at you with my last action, and uh, that's with the that's a miss because I got the uh, attack trait on that. Okay, screen. hang on. Uh, I'm okay, a, my is doesn't my AC go down if I'm blinded? I don't care. Okay. Just put the put the thing. I rolled a natural three. There's no way it's gonna hit you. Uh, all right, it's the other lurker's turn. I believe this is the one. Actually, maybe this is the one that was dead. Someone is trying to send me a photo, which is weird. <laughs> they look naked, too. <laughs> Give me a second person sending, airdropping me a photo. Uh, sir, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'll deal with that in a second. There's a lot going on. Eric, I'll show you too. It's a, uh, that's weird. It's a DM from Flaming Fa- Fairy One Two Five. <laughs> that's it. Watch your tone, Matthew. Uh, all right, it is Atticus's turn. Uh, the other lurker is dead. I am not accepting that photo <laughs> until I get home. Your loss. <laughs> <laughs> Your loss. Uh, Atticus is going to draw out a wand. Yeah. Okay. And he's going to fire at the uh, fairy directly north of Sir Julie. Ten okay. Ten feet north of Sir Julie. I got you. A scorching ray. Yes. Uh, need to do. Uh, need to hit on an attack roll here. Uh, Twenty-two hits exactly. Hits nice. Exactly. What did you roll? So important. What? What did you roll? I rolled a seven on the die. Uh, all right. Uh, that is thirteen points of fire damage. Thirteen point. Not persistent fire. Uh, no, not persistent fire. From okay. what I can tell. All right, and Aldo, you put one of them on fire. Did that one just go? Was I supposed uh, to That roll? was the one that died, I think. That was the one that died. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Sir Julie, don't forget, you have a cold iron weapon, so it's going to do five extra damage any time you hit. No, you I'm, hit. I'm not using it. You're not using your cold iron weapon? It's a dagger. It doesn't Sorry, I brought it up. Uh, Atticus, any actions left? No, drawing out the wand was an action. Okay. And the spell was two actions. Very good. It is uh, the one right up here that you can't see. Hello! He comes back. I'm going to blind you. Oh, man. Roll a fortitude save. How's your wizard's fortitude bone? My bone is... Got a decent bone over there? Pretty bad. Uh, Yeah, worse. The the worst one. Good. Shit. (laughs) Don't forget you have a hero point. I've got two. Baby. But well, you can only use it once for one thing, right? Yeah. Natural 17! Nice. Uh, nice. What's the total? 29. 29. Okay, so you're blinded until the next turn. Okay. Uh, all right, so that was two actions, and then uh, I'm going to make that guy just uh, slide away. He's going to slide away, and as he does so, he's going to become invisible. I feel like he's the leader of the group, and he's smart. Slip sliding away. Um, <laughs> And finally, it's Tiny Murder Clown's turn. I know it's been 45 minutes since your last turn. Uh, Tiny Murder Clown, do these things bleed? Yes. So he's finally got a little blood on his hand. Yeah. Because all the rest of the blood that used to go up to his elbow was washed off for six weeks behind. It's (laughs) blue. The blood is blue. Some of his skin also sloughed off, but let's not worry about that. (laughs) And uh, he, so he, uh, he's got remoras like hanging. Leaning into the noodly arms of my of my pawn here, he puts his arms in the fist. Uh, fist in the air, and he's running up. Uh, it, it takes a circuitous route to flank the lurker in light. And as he runs, he goes, Give me the kill! Give me the kill! Give me the kill! And uh, then he's going to try to flurry of blows again. Okay. Oh, uh, ooh, not real great, if I must uh. say. Uh, first one is a 21. Oh. But I'm flanking! So 23. 23. Well, its AC goes down, so it's a hit either way. Yeah, right. Same diff. Uh, and then the second one is uh, literally a 22. So I think that... Er, er, well, that is a hit as well. So two hits. From the flurry, he needs to make another... Uh, this guy, for the first time, needs to make a stunning fist saving throw. That's okay. DC 23 fort. Fortitude. Uh, oh, natty 18. 27. So okay. regular success. So he is not stunned. And then I have one more attack. Probably won't hit, but take this in the eyeball. And oh, natural twenty! Yes! Oh! Critical threat! Critical threat! Critical! Critical! Critical threat! Damn it! I'm so happy. Oh, my In the eyeball! <laughs> my poor monsters. 
This is going to really, really hurt you. Uh, you. You get a fan critical. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Could be triple or quad damage. Yeah. Well, let's actually let's do the, the let's resolve the damage from the other two attacks then before we. Okay. That yeah. Out. Sure. So that's uh, 10, 14, 17 plus twelve is twenty nine. Twenty. Wow. Nine points of damage. Okay. Ooh. This might. If this is a good crit, this might be enough. I can swallow his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Joe looks really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, thank you, Zach Stevens from Elkhart, Indiana. Oh! Hey! In the house! Stand up. Stand up. Where is he? Oh, in the back. Oh, he's pumping his hand. He's going nuts back there. All right. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. Oh. Especially for Tiny Murder oh, Clown. Monk. Yes, You're... I'm so pumped up. I'm so pumped up. Your strike connects in such a way that you feel the rhythm of the battle course hard in your veins. Yeah. Deal double damage and gain the quickened condition for 1d4 rounds. Oh, nice. Wow. Woo! Woo! Time to take him to Clown Town. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, three, 46 oh points of damage. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the back of your skull hurts my knuckles. Do you ever let a mosquito sit on your arm for a long time and watch its abdomen swell? Yes. And then you pop it? That's what happens here. Uh, oh. <laughs> I do like a little breakdance move, but it's all like super fast. <laughs> a super fast breakdance move. <laughs> Just a pool of blood. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> One punch! I, 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 I think at this point blue, I do blue. need to remind everyone that murder is what I do best! Yes! yes. Yeah, it is! Yeah, it is! The proof is in the pudding that used to be a lurker in light. <laughs> oh. It is now round three, and it's uh, lurker in light one's turn. Uh, my least favorite of all the lurkers. Uh, I don't think he's alive no mo. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no, so it's going to go straight to Aldo's turn. Aldo, excellent. So Aldo is going to uh, perform another quick alchemy, and he's going to create a, um, what's it called? A bottle of lightning. Bottle of lightning. A bottle of lightning, and he's going to throw this bottle of lightning. At I can't the... believe you were able to capture lightning in a bottle. I did lightning in a bottle. Message got a message in there too. What does it say? <laughs> uh, camera of the lyrics. It's an SOS <laughs> to the world. The just a castaway. Uh, just a castaway. Uh, that's twenty nine. It is twenty nine to hit. All right, so you're hitting the one that is exposed up here. Yes. Twenty nine to hit is a hit. Okay, excellent. So that is. Uh, that is eight points of damage, okay. and it is flat-footed until uh, the beginning of my next turn. Well, to everyone? Yeah, to, every, to everybody. Sweet. And with my final action, I will use a second attack to throw another bottle of uh, Alchemist Fire at it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a... Natty 16, that is a 25. And that includes what Joe was talking yes. about before, the, what do you call it, the multiple attack penalty? penalty. I didn't make it up. Yes, I'm in there. Your words were daggers in Skid's ears. <laughs> no, I, he was right, he was right. <laughs> uh, yep, that's a hit. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so that is 17 points of fire Jesus. damage. <laughs> and Come it on. is on fire. Oh, great. And if there happen to be other any other invisible... Twig jacks in uh, adjacent to it, <laughs> they also jacks. take uh, two, uh, four points of damage. There are no uh, adjacent uh, ones there, and none of your friends are adjacent either, so uh, just remind me to take that damage on my turn. Great. It is Sir Julie's turn. Sir Julie, you coward, you cheater, you fool. So th this is the trade off when we use the hero points as. Detailed in the rules, you consider us cowards? I think you should use the hero point immediately upon failing, not when a crowd of 200 people tells you to do it. I agree. Call me old-fashioned, but that's how we did it in the 80s. I agree, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's in my defense. defense will not no up. one should ever be punished for their incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ever. Um, no one should ever suffer any consequences for their own incompetence. That's yes. what I think. 
All right, Sir Julie is going to. She is blind. She is blind. You still succeeded at blinding me. Good. Congratulations. Uh, I'm going to have her use a seek action to detect the sound of roasting bug, uh, and see if I can ro- locate my like point myself towards this lurking light. All right. So now, what's the DC for this seek? Because it's not trying to stealth, right? It is a stealth DC. Thank you, kind sir or would madam. This, would the sound of the fire perhaps modify that DC? No. Why not? It's. Tell me how hard, how easy it is for you to hide when you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it should be different because it should be different somehow. Something that's on fire is easier to find. That's almost true. always. But there's fire all over the place. I smell it. Just I roll s- your <laughs> perception check. <laughs> well, I'm rolling at a penalty. Natural 19. Uh, nat- 30. Jesus, yeah. Yep. You smell a toasty, uh, fey creature ahead of you. So I take a tentative step forward. And I swing with my greatsword. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 22. It's exactly. Yes. yes. Uh, oh. Oh. 28 points of damage. Oh. I'm sorry, what? 28 points of damage. Still up. That's my turn. Okay. All right, that one is in bad shape, and... Uh, now it is, I believe it's its turn. It is. Skid, what is the fire damage that I take? Uh, two points of fire damage. And now it's dead. Yeah! yeah! Exco, give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. Exco, deliver. Saturday afternoons at Gen Con used to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having a great time. Yeah, That's you are. a blast. All right, made short work of those things. There goes that guy's turn. It's Atticus. So here we oh. go. This should be good. There's an invisible one left. One invisible John left. Well, Atticus. And he's taunting you. You can't see me. Show yourself, John. Or whatever no, your but name now I is. Can... No. Now I can hear. I don't want uh, Atticus to. is going to roll to hear where that's coming from. With okay. a seek action. Uh, 15. You yes. can't see me. I definitely can't. I hate uh, him sometimes. So, really Atticus. Stupid stop it. Stop. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> in, a very mi- in a very minor attempt to defend himself, Atticus is going to cast a shield of force in front of himself, raise it up, and hide behind him in the direction of uh, the sound, basically. Now you can see me. <laughs> oh, it's huge. I grew. <laughs> uh, all right, so it's its turn. This guy did use his searing light blast. And he used his blindness. Hey, don't forget you were blind. Yeah, That's how I started the turn. I wasn't listening. I just okay. wanted to remind you of that. Uh, all right, so I already used my, my good spells. I don't want to do that. All right, so I'm just going to try and get you. And for the first time, I'm going to remember that I get sneak attack damage. So, it's oh. going to come up. Oh, no. And it's going to get right in your face. I don't like the looks of you! And it claws you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the looks of you! I don't like the looks of you! <laughs> 27 to hit! Oh, that is a hit. Alright, so that's going to be 2d6 plus 2 slashing plus 2d6 precision damage damage. Oh. So back where I come from, that's 4d6. <laughs> 10, 17 plus 2 is 19 points of damage. All right. I can take it. That was its claw. It moved up to you. It clawed. And you know what? It's going to claw again. No. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. Natural 2. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, and now it is so dead. Now he's exposed. You're no longer blind, and it's Tiny Murder Clown's turn. <laughs> hey, did you roll your? Uh, did you roll your quickened? Do oh. I have to roll it? I think it's one d four. One d four rounds. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, let's. Oh, and who was? Who was it? Zachary? Was that who this was from? Zachary, this is for you. Hopefully. It's yeah. It's a one. Thanks, Zachary. <laughs> Throw the die at Way to go, Zachary. What a garbage crew. Thanks a lot. Thanks for Super nothing. Super So only get one extra action. All right. <laughs> I run over here. 
Can I? Is there room enough to balance on the end of that for a month? <laughs> I think you just fell off the log. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do it if, ah! it, if I'm going to fall. Ah! Look at that. There's a stem. <laughs> Look at the stem. Uh, there is a leaf there uh, that is strong enough to hold your weight. I'm only a little wee man. Ooh. Yay, I'm right up here, and now I have three more actions. Let's start with the flurry of blows. Surprise, surprise! Boo, 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 boo. I got a 25 Hit. and a 22. Yes. Hits exactly. And also yes. I'm flanking, so ha, ha, ha. Yes. All right. Um, well, let's do... Is it How wounded is this guy? Not at all, right? No, no, he hasn't been touched. you call yourself a leader? You must be most delicious of all. Uh, um, 15, 30, 46 points of damage. Oh, my God. Good Lord. That is pretty awesome. Then I'm going to attack him again. Yeah. Quick and... Uh, But this is only a... Oh, I think I missed my one. It's a 19. I am flanking, but I think that means I missed my one. Right? Uh, 19 is a miss, yes. Uh, Well, well, while... Actually... Yeah, it is a miss. Just yes, missed. No, I just oh, fruity, uh, friggity, friggity, fru. Uh, that's it for. No, I get one more attack actually because of the quick. Come so. on! Sorry, uh, but it's terrible, and I just sort of like tickle his his uh, chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Top around twelve. Aldo's turn. Aldo. Uh, all right, so he. Oh, uh, she's going to. Take out his rage. And he says, I don't like but I don't like this dream. This is the worst dream I've ever had. And it's a high bar to cross. So I'm cross with you as well. I'm gonna stop uh soliloquying right now. I'm gonna throw um another uh, I'm gonna alchemist fire. No no. Wait, no, I'm gonna throw uh, a I'm gonna do a quick alchemy, do another bottle of lightning. It was a journey to get this. I'm sorry. <laughs> the true journey. Uh, do, 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 do. The, the, oh, yes, that's a 27 to hit. That is a hit. Okay. Oh, uh, that is uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. And it is flat footed until the beginning of my next turn. Great. And then with my final action, I'm going to do throw another bottle of uh, moderate alchemist fire. Looks like it's on the rope. Add a penalty. Uh, oh, 20. 20 oh. to hit. 20 Did you hit. hear a point? It's flat footed. That hits exactly. Yes! <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thank you. This is this. That's awesome. Okay, that's great. Uh, oh, okay. So that's a uh, thirteen more points of fire damage, and it is on fire. No, it's dead. Oh yes! It's tricky, 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 tricky. Exactly. The battle ends. You catch your breath. You see your old friend, Verbal Hoss, standing there. Ugh. And Xantar, you assume, is dead Who cares? Or waiting around. <laughs> <laughs> no! My leash! Verbal, how did, you, how did you find us? The last I saw, you toppled off the side of the boat. Well, it's a long story that involved being dragged along by kelp for many weeks. No sad stories today. I my constitution. But I have returned, and I found you the simplest way of all by going down a set of stairs. That is a happy ending. I <laughs> How the hell is there a tree in this boat? <laughs> Why do you keep following us? <laughs> you know, every time I turn around, you hear you, you terrify us. <laughs> Because you're my friends. Oh, God. How about a hug for the old clown? You named me. He's crying and just puts his arms around him. Thank you, Father. Please, God. Please. Take him away from us. Thank you. Before I met you, I was just verbal hoss, but now I'm the tiny murder clown and I couldn't be happier. Oh, sorry. I got some fairy blood on your arm. (laughs) It kind of glows. No, no, no. So nice to be back.
Everybody, uh, as you're as you're greeting your old friend who pops up every so often during a convention. <laughs> Whenever anyone anyone's gets sick. Sick, like, <laughs> Kelly shows up. Everybody, roll a perception check. I'm uh, uh, horribly injured. <laughs> Back here. All right, you don't roll one. Could anyone help me, please? Help Allow me. me to lay my hands upon you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I lay my thank I can, you Sir Julie I can do two I, I, I press my hands up against your face around your snout and I <laughs> const- I call on the light of Saren Ray and you heal 36 points oh wow, that's, that was juicy and then Ooh, I wait good. and then we wait and I refocus okay thank you Sir Julie do you need I more? feel reinvigorated no I'm much better now tiny murder cloud yes <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Thank you. You look really well healed. I am, thank you. Was that Sir Julie who did that? Oh, yes. Hey, Sir Julie, do you got anything? She has for, magnificent Do you got anything hands. for like six weeks of sunburn? <laughs> <laughs> Come, <laughs> let me lay my hands upon you. <laughs> I'm not actually injured at all. <laughs> she doesn't T- hear you, she just wants to Touch the- me, Sir Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so alone for so long. <laughs> and her hand is currently glowing with the light of Saren Ray because she already started, the, started uh-huh. the process. And she just slaps you across the face. Ah! <laughs> uh, Watch <up>. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I want to roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I haven't been treated this well since the orderlies. <laughs> 32. 32. Uh, natural 20 for Ooh. 31 for uh, Aldo. 23 for Atticus. Not as good as your friends. Oh, no. And 17. 17. Also not great. You guys are wrapped up in Catching up on old times. Best friends, Atticus Grimm and Verbal My muscles Hoss. have atrophied. <laughs> you notice up ahead, sort of just to the north of where Tiny Murder Clown is standing, there's a wide leaf that looks like it's stained. At first you think maybe it's just like a discoloration in the leaf, but as you look, you realize it's stained with dried blood. And also it's perforated with thorns that are trailing bits of rope that almost look like it's, it's meant to hold something or someone in place. And then you think, actually, those look like it's, it's meant to hold someone. And the reason you think that is because you see someone tied, bound, <laughs> gagged, and staked to the leaf. You could Whoa. have just opened with that. <laughs> this is so exciting. Well, you know, it's, when I, when I, saw, I see some thorns... Yeah, when we see someone bound and gagged, kept prisoner, the first thing we think is, wow, look at those ropes. <laughs> I, like, I like leading with the descriptive and ending with the reveal of this dude. Where is this? Right there on the map. He's dressed like Ray Skywalker. <laughs> there he is. Ah. Yeah, so. Oh! He's Ro. got the letter, letters row on his chest. Row! No, row! Uh, hello, hello over there. Ro Skywalker. His name is Ro Copyright. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't worry about him. Does Do you guys see him on the map? Yeah. He's, yeah, on, yeah. he's on the leaf. Scroll, Scroll up. Scroll up a little bit, Joe. Scroll up, you doofus. Ah. There he is. There He is uh, on the leaf, and obviously he's been watching you uh, distracted by this fight. He sees a tiny murder clown there, and he's bound and gagged, but he's just going like this, like wide-eyed looking at you. Don't, don't go. (laughs) No, 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 stop him. Somebody stop him. (laughs) Stop the murder clown. No, tiny murder clown, stop. It's creepy when you do that. Well, you are. (laughs) Ooh, it's going down. (laughs) What is it? Oh, he's bad, he's gagged, can't speak. Hmm. Do I have anything in my arsenal? No, of course not. 
Remove gag. Cantrip. <laughs> Hello over there. He's gagged. Yes, I know, but he can still communicate non-verbally. <laughs> Are you shaking your head because you do not want us to rescue you? Are you shaking your head because you do want us to rescue you? Nod your head. He lost track of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Nod your head if we should not walk to you. Should we walk to you? <laughs> Is the leaf trapped? Great. So Describe Julie, in detail who yes, did tell this. Us, tell us where the traps lie. Oh, no. <laughs> Speak clearly. Is What's there wrong an, with you? Is there another way around? Well, I'm sorry. Best of luck. <laughs> he looks like he's been beaten and he's covered uh, Atticus, in dry blood. Atticus is going to... He's going to cast Fly on yeah. himself. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. You say, keep a lookout, Sir Julie. Watch the skies. And he's going to cast Fly and hover over the leaf. Okay. I saw I saw a bird. Just about a foot over the leaf, just like hovering, not putting a paw on it. Okay. And moving toward the guy. Okay. <laughs> Still shaking his head. I can't do it anymore because it's making me dizzy. Okay. <laughs> You'll believe a rat can fly. He'll reach out if he can and dislodge the gag. All right, you reach out very tenderly, dislodge the gag, and now I need a voice for this guy. Who are you? Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm very hurt. <laughs> no, no, we took the gag off. Oh, oh, I've never seen a rat fly before. <laughs> oh, my, my name is Nestor Bindley. What? what? Say again. I can't, I can't hear you through your Dick Van Dyke accent. We can, <laughs> listen, I, we can exchange pleasantries later. What now? I need help getting off this leaf. But you, the, you said, quiet. Well, I'm sorry. You said the leaf was trapped. How so? I didn't say the leaf was trapped. The GM did. <laughs> Hit him. Up in the... Just those, those creatures, those flying uh, fairy creatures, they weaken the stem there. You might be able to roll something to disable the trap. Or if you're strong enough, you don't look it. Maybe one of your friends could come and lift me off. But don't step on that leap anymore. Wait and we'll all fall to the forest floor. Aldo, do you think you could reinforce the stem somehow? Uh, and he like affixes his goggles to his eyes. It's just like, oh, I figure I could give it a, a, a go. Do you okay. think it would take more than five minutes? I don't know. Troy, do you, do you, <laughs> will it take a while? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> you have to, there's certain uh, skills you can use to disable it, but I don't know if you guys uh, are going to have it. Yeah, we're not. You got to roll to try and figure out what those skills are. Uh, all right, what can I roll to try to well, figure out what yeah, the skills what are, you are that we'll need to use this thing? Um, what do you roll to learn about traps? Do you know? Uh, thievery, right? Thievery? Okay, roll yeah. thievery. Yeah. Does anyone have thievery? Of course. Oh. What do you take me for? Oh, uh, well, a murderous tiny gnome, but well, surely have other steals. skills as well. I, I have to steal to survive, so oh, I know oh. how to steal, Good. sort of. Would you like to put your life in the hands of a plus three bonus? <laughs> He's got a plus three. Oh, no. But do I? Uh, it, can we access what we think is the trap from the, from the tree? Yeah, he told you that it looked like the stem, which is right near where you're standing, uh, tiny bird of Let me get to it, and I crack my knuckles and kind of with a flourish pull my fingers apart, and blood just shoots off of me. <laughs> and then I'm the, gonna try to disable the trap. Okay. Um, there's, you could, I don't think you can do it because you need to be a master at thievery. I am, uh, in fact, untrained. Uh, I'll just tell you. You can either be a master in thievery, an expert in athletics, or an expert in nature. Uh, I'm an expert in athletics. Of course, I'm far better at athletics than at thievery. All right, give it a whirl. Give it an athletics check to try and stabilize the leaf so it won't fall. 
I'm, okay. I take out my noodly arms. <laughs> and I stabilize the, the, the stem. <laughs> With your immense athletic Check prowess. Check it out. I'm making it more stable, you guys. Clearly, he was a varsity athlete. Yes. Won an Olympic medal for stabilizing leaves. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 27. It's so stable. I hope it's stable enough. That's good enough. Yes. yes. Stabilize yes. the leaf. And All right. untie nice. this fool. Uh, Atticus will untie him and say, and he stands up. safe now. You could walk to the branch. Oh, well, you, you still you. appear to be laying down. Uh, no, I'm standing now, as you can see. Don't. <laughs> oh, my. imagine this being my upright walking oh, position. Yes, my back <laughs> is killing me. You are quite a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Step I'm carefully. Still. I'm still trying to keep it stable. Oh, all right. I'm going as careful as I can. Thank you for saving me. I'm very hurt. Do you have any whiskey? Whiskey? <laughs> I've got a. I've got some homemade Pepsi that's been burning a hole in my uh, in my water skin. Uh, a potion of dragon breath. No, I don't need Thirst that. Quenching. Uh, are you dreamers or hunters? What brings you to the enchanted wood? We are dream hunters. I like to think oh. of myself more as an entertainer. <laughs> You are dressed, well, not you, but the rest of you are dressed like people from where I'm from. Where is that? Where are you from? I live uh, in uh, an area known as the Verduran Forest. And you would know that that's in Galarian. Oh. Where in Galarian might that be? Uh, well, all the trees are. <laughs> right. Oh. I do. I it's recognize kind of in the, the middle. Name. It's along the Selen River. Ah. Yes, it's, it's along the Selen River. There's lots of trees. It's a forest. Yeah. <laughs> Animals, trees. It's a sacred, special place. Well, it took us some complications. A ritual to get to this place. How did you get here? Well, I've been traveling the dreamlands in search of someone, a, a big game hunter named Kelveta Bricks. Have you seen her? <laughs> no, we have not seen her, but we are also on the trail of some big game, as you say. Uh, tigers, in fact. Tigers, you say? Well, last I heard, she was hunting tigers to the east of here. And I was hot on her trail before these awful creatures ambushed and captured me. <laughs> are you hunting the hunter? <laughs> on her trail? Just do these accents to try and make Skid laugh. <laughs> yeah. Troy did one the other day, and the fucking Dread Game was like, <laughs> couldn't stop laughing for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm still laughing thinking about it. I'm an English major. <laughs> what was your question? Are you hunting the hunter? <laughs> yes, you could say I am haunting the hunter. What do you plan to do once you find her? I'm going to fuck her up. <laughs> Why? Why? That sounds awesome! <laughs> Where I come from, I am at one with the woodland creatures and the, the trees and all that shit. And she... <laughs> she is known... Sound very devoted. Let me tell you about her. She is uh, known as a cruel and capricious hunter all throughout the Verduran Forest. She, she defiles these creatures and spits on my trees. Who spits on a tree? It's rude. Verbal, put your hand down. <laughs> trees breathe and eat and make love just like you and I. <laughs> That's why they call it having wood. <laughs> <laughs> Describe this tree lovemaking you speak of. <laughs> well, surely I'm not the only one among us that has made sweet love to an elm. <laughs> <laughs> Consensual, mind you. All three of us slowly turn our head to Sir Julie. <laughs> and Sir Julie goes. <laughs> I'll tap that ash. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hero point. 
<laughs> Bottle cap. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, well, anyway, she's, she spits on my lovers. And I had, been, <laughs> I had been following her for some time, following her tracks to confront her and end her tyrannical reign of terror and spitting in my homeland. And then about six months ago, she, <laughs> she disappeared entirely. <laughs> She what? She disappeared entirely. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked around, and I discovered, <laughs> and I discovered that Calvada had somehow found her way here into the dreamland, <laughs> where apparently she picked up right where she left off, spitting on trees. Killing animals and whatnot. Trying to find denizens of this beautiful enchanted wood to add to her trophy case. So I followed her here to stop her. Don't quite remember how I got here, cause it wasn't written in the adventure path. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say she's nearby. And if you haven't seen her, and you say that you're looking for tigers as well, then odds are if they're tigers, you find Calvetta. What's her name? Calvetta. <laughs> One more time, let me read your lips. Calvetta. <laughs> Calvetta, Briggs. <laughs> Thank God you found me. I was going to fall to the forest floor. Those creatures were... I, I speak fair, and I was listening to them, and I heard that they needed five humanoids like me <laughs> to make a ritual so they could go back home to the first world. No doubt they were going to kill you and sacrifice all five of us so they could go home. Sir Julie, who is a paragon of goodness, is very near to pushing this guy right off the branch. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> now they may roast. Now may they roast in the fires of the abyss. Fuck them. If you seek these tigers, perhaps I shall join your party, and I will hunt with you. Not the tigers, but the the Calvetta. Well. You say you do not wish for the hunter to hunt beasts in this forest either. What if we, would, would, how would you feel if we killed the tigers? As long as you don't engage in animal baiting, painful traps, or wanton butchery. No. <laughs> I understand that such is the cycle of life. <laughs> Sometimes you must kill animals but you must honor them. You don't just go up and kick them and punch them or defile their corpses. You honor them down to the last piece of meat, down to the last bone, and you never cut down a tree. This guy's a real joy kill. <laughs> what you, can we do? You may murder oh. the animals with honor. <laughs> murder, murder, <laughs> murder them honor. with honor. Could you explain that last part? <laughs> How do you do that? You just you, you you say a prayer when you're done. <laughs> you say a prayer. <laughs> wow. You say prayer when yeah. you're done. You say a prayer when you're done. <laughs> As for Calvetta, she deserves no quarter. You may cut off her head, kick her, do all the things that I wouldn't want you to do to the taggers. So the list is... And then we say bruh. What? <laughs> What's the magic word again? Bruh. Cabretta. Are you talking about Cabretta Bricks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we... You You're say? looking at me as if you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Have you never visited the Vidaran Forest? We all talk like this. I'm more of a city gnome. Let's make, a, let's make a note, never go to the Verduran Forest. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's a beautiful place this time of year. 
Have you been anywhere beyond this place, this branch? This? Have you seen any of what's ahead? When I was magically transported here, <laughs> I walked around for a little bit, stopped at the gift shop, <laughs> bought myself a magnet, <laughs> then these fairies <laughs> captured me. <laughs> It's, Whoa! It's what? actually what happened. <laughs> there were four fairies that captured me. Fairy creatures. Thank God you saved me. Oh yeah, thank God. My name's Nestor Bindley. I don't think I got your names. I'll say them back to you after you introduce no, yourself. This is good. What is your name, sir? I'm sorry. I wasn't listening to anything. <laughs> you said, um, uh, Aldo Casimir. Aldo Casimir? Yes. <laughs> what a lovely name. And right. you. People, well, father calls me Tiny Murder oh, Clown. No, no. <laughs> Tiny Murder Can? With a K. Tiny Murder Can, that's what I said. Yeah. What about you, rat person? Atticus Grimm. Grandma Miss Kim! <laughs> and you, Sir Knight? I am Sir Julie Andrews. Sir Julie Andrews! <laughs> so well met, Swedish. friends. Let's go <laughs> explore. You sound, you sound like the Swedish chef as played, by, as played by Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins. I'm standing up. It feels so good not to be bound and gagged. <laughs> I feel as if I could dance. Oh, let's do it. Oh. Take my hand. Hold on. This tree is rather sexy. And better yet, don't take my hand. <laughs> Would you like to travel on and look for these tigers? Very much so. <laughs> More All than right. you know. Please, can we move ahead? Yes, I have magic powers. Oh, yes, I did mean to ask. You came here to kill, to murder, to defile. How I would not did defile. you? In- how did you intend to do it? I was going to use my magics. <laughs> and what sort of magics are those? Oh, great! What is your tradition? Great magics. I am a, a powerful sorcerer. <laughs> oh. Well, the, then you are most welcome. Of Just what bloodline? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That is rude to ask a man. <laughs> is it? Yes. Where I come from, you never ask someone what the bloodline is. <laughs> I apologize. You didn't know. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> Are there multiple directions to walk, or is there one path along the branch? <laughs> We're really rushing through this adventure. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm, I myself am flashing back to the time when the show started. You said we had a lot to get through tonight. I know. <laughs> My only note for him here was do something fun. <laughs> okay. Right. Done and done. Mission done. accomplished. Uh, <laughs> so... Would you like to lead the way? <laughs> yes. Follow me. Is there multiple ways, or is there just one path ahead that it seems? Don't raise your voice at me. We're just met. <laughs> <laughs> if you look, there's lots of different ways to go, but this largest branch here seems like the most likely way to go. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy, let's go that way. (laughs) Come on, new friends. (laughs) And so you travel through the forest. Wow. (laughs) And so we travel through the forest. (laughs) Are we staying on the map, or are we... Uh, No, this is all theater of the mind, this next part. Uh, No, you're traveling through the forest... And uh, as you get deeper with your new friend, Nestor Bindley, uh, eventually 
the sunlight that had opened up when you went to that area where the canopy had kind of dispersed, uh, it begins to close over you again. You're going east, but you can tell that you're going higher up the tree as well. And the sunlight above begins to dim as the trees cluster. And there's deep shadows now over the boughs and leaves in this area. Uh, You're walking along, and you all have this very uneasy feeling. Ooh, wait. Let me just stop you there and say that uh, we're in exploration mode. Okay. And I'm going to detect magic in exploration mode. So I'm oh, just constantly actually, detecting magic. Also, constantly. which one of us has the highest perception? I have a 15. I have an 11. I'm also 15. No, 13, sorry. All right, so uh, Aldo is going to prepare an eagle eye elixir for Sir Julie to imbibe, which will give her plus two on her perception checks for another hour. Oh. Ooh, nice. Also, Aldo, I love your voice change. Well. It is. It is the result of three days of drinking and gaming without sleep. (laughs) (laughs) These people know what I'm talking about, am I right? (laughs) <laughs> Everybody roll a perception check. Uh, 15 for Aldo. Ooh. 18. 16. Ooh. Uh, that is going to be a 35. Yeah. Yes! See? Eagle eye! Okay. Once again, Sir Julie is the only one alert, and Nestor is so focused on caressing each branch as you walk by that he, too, doesn't notice things crawling out of the shadows towards you. No, no. Sir Julie, you're just looking up ahead, and you see in this mass of green and black and brown, streaks start to move and move quickly as jumping out from the boughs above and all around you, several tigers start (laughs) pouncing at your friends. Instead of orange and black stripes, though, they are covered in black and green stripes. There are five of them in total, and one particularly nasty one looks like the leader of the pack and is going right after you. Tiger, we come... In relative peace. (laughs) We only need two of you. And we promise to eat all of your meat and every bird. We will say a prayer when we slay you and honor you in that way. Let's poach them. (laughs) (laughs) Just take their skins and be done with it. This is a poacher's dream. (laughs) Roll for initiative. Uh, Sheepers, we found them pretty quick. Roll for initiative. This is pretty huge here. What you need is that pard tail from the Zoogs. The Zoog said if you bring them a carcass of one of these tigers that has been terrorizing the area up here, they will trade that carcass for a pard tail and perhaps will recognize Xantar as their king once more, though Xantar is nowhere to be found. So we this, actually we need two park tails, remember? Yes, the second one is for Sir Julie to we do need weird. Park tail to the Destiny Knight. <laughs> do weird sex stuff with. So at least two tiger carpus, carcasses have to be brought to the that Zooks. Way. It is Aldo's turn. I mean, Aldo's. God. <laughs> What's your initiative? Thirty-one. So probably I'm looking, is my like, turn. Aldo's turn. Uh, Atticus. So it is Aldo's turn. It probably yeah. is. Aldo's. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Uh, Sir Julie. Twenty-seven. Okay, and <laughs> Tiny Murder Clown. Thank you, Aldo, for the elixir. 26. 26. Now I go first because my pilgrim's token. Yep, yep. Actually, as I said very presciently moments ago, Aldo, it's your turn. All right. Aldo is going, well, first he's going to do a knowledge check uh, to see, try to identify anything about these creatures and okay. the specifics. Is this another nature? Yeah, nature. Okay. Ooh, uh, 29. 
nine. Okay. Um, they look like tigers. Okay. <laughs> but a bunch they're of bullshit. green. It's all fake. Green tigers, and one of them is very large and green. Okay. But, but they're just tigers. They're, they're, they're tigers that are native to this area. Okay. And they do tiger things like right. pouncing and biting and clawing and wrestling. They do wrestling. <laughs> Elbow drops and body slams. <laughs> they do sneak attack damage when I remember it. Okay. But they don't cast any spells. These are vicious creatures. That okay. If they lock onto you with their jaws and start fucking... <laughs> It could get real bad. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> These beautiful, majestic creatures. <laughs> Please be careful, Aldi. All right. So. <laughs> Aldo is going to do another quick alchemy. And he is going to quickly create a dread ampule. Dread ampule? Have you done this before? I've never done this before. You son of a bitch. I'm going to shout out, you're about to get a tiger beating. And he's going to <laughs> toss the dread ampule at the largest tiger. Ooh, at the um, you, you can almost call him a Smilodon. If you Smi- want. Ooh. You're that's... not going to be smiling for long. Right Don, I'm not a do for you. <laughs> Don, uh, that is a uh, 30, 33. 33 is a critical hit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Don't awesome. burn the hide. We need it. No, this won't, in fact. Uh, all right, so do I get a fan critical? Uh, no, was it a nat 20? Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, okay. All right, so, ooh, that is uh, seven points of mental damage. Okay. And it is frightened two. Oh, la-di-da. Wait, you're doubling. You got to double the damage. I did. (laughs) Oh, I rolled twice, though. All right. uh, Did you roll three and a half points of damage? Oh, six. Six points of damage. Okay, six points of damage. Great. Uh, frightened too. You're uh, you're gripped by fear and struggle to control your nerves. Status penalty equal. Okay. Frightened condition will go by one. It got down by one. You said frightened two. Frightened two on a critical Gross. hit. Okay. Nice. Uh, any more actions? Uh, that is it for me. I'm afraid. Okay. And that was at the smile of dawn. Now it's the smile of dawn's turn. And the smile of oh man, this is things got some cool abilities. I am going to pounce at Sir Julie, and the Smilodon strides and makes a strike at the end of its movement. Pounce. So, ha-ta! Pounces at you. I, I'm gonna, I'm telling you right now, Sir Julie, I wanna kill you. Here it comes. That is going to be a 31 to hit. Ooh. That hits. Let me just find my D8s. Never get to use those for damage. Not a big D8 crowd. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, shit. A four and one. All right. Five, 11 points of slashing damage. Not great. It's also less great because I have resistance to slashing. <laughs> All right. Now it is going to attempt to uh, bite you with its mouth and put you in its fangs. Cracked eye. Uh... Natural one! Yes! yes! Yes. God! The monsters will rumble, the dead they will tumble, fan the fumble. Brutal, brutal. What did you get? They all uh, say John in the title. A lot of Johns. <laughs> uh, Aaron from Peoria, Illinois. Oh. Hi, hi, Aaron. I'll read it as Nestor Bindley. 
Dad, <laughs> I need you. <laughs> it had all those extra vowels. Dad, I need you. <laughs> you so brace t- yourself, plant your feet, and prepare to land a crushing blow, and out of nowhere you hear a blood-curdling cry of desperation. Your attack misses, and you are flat-footed until your next turn as you decide whether or not you pretend not to hear it. Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, I think it's like a kid being like, Dad! Yeah, Joe. I oh, need okay. you in the background. Right. Clearly written by a parent. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, I, I haven't revealed the map to you guys. You just no, been sitting there. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just... <laughs> you, said, you said we weren't using the map. Uh, no, he, I haven't. I was lying. He was lying, and I kept yeah. looking at you like, am I crazy? Like, nope. Nobody wants to use a map. Yes. <laughs> no, I was making like a, a very funny joke. Situation. Uh, yeah, no, look. Now, now. Wow, look at that. Action. Look at this, Dibidly. <laughs> Deepers. God, I hate uh, this. I put an R and an O on my chest. Um, all right, now it is Sir Julie's turn. That sucks. All right, so that thing's flat-footed, minus two to its AC. That's great. Sir Julie's going to take uh, at least a couple attacks on this guy. First attack with the great sword. Uh, oh, natural two. Really 18. That's green. Second attack. Natural 20. Ah! Yeah! Critical threat, critical threat, critical, 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 critical threat. So many crits. A lot of crits. That uh, app's getting some use. It really is. Once, uh, a bit, once again, a big thanks to our friends at Gearbox who made our new website that we launched this week. Yeah. Really, really phenomenal. It's like a huge quality of life improvement. It's it's fantastic. Remember our original really shitty website that I, I made? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the second one was better, but that one sucked too. This one's great. Uh, lots of vowels in these. Uh, Andrew Waba from Columbus, Ohio. Columbus! Rage! Hi, Andrew. You strike with such ferocity, you temporarily awaken a primal rage from deep within your soul. Deal double damage as you enter into a rage as the Barbarian class feature, except uh, except you can still use concentrate actions that don't have the rage trait. Okay. There's no end of this. Or is rage just per round? I, mean, I don't know how it works in two. Uh, it's, do you have to use rage every round? Or once you rage, you just rage no, until no, you stop? Yeah. You rage okay. first, sir. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's going to be two additional damage on melee strikes, minus one penalty to AC, and we don't worry about the concentrate. Okay, so it's another one, two damage. one minute. In two, in two one minutes. minute, okay. Okay, so double damage. Double damage. Boom, Matthew! <laughs> it's highly unnecessary. Uh, okay. Be careful with your soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other voice now. That's the one you were using yesterday. I, I strike with <laughs> Anna. 32 points of damage. Whoa. Yikes. Taking down the mama. All uh, right. And then I'm going to take. Why not? Let's go for a third attack. Why, why not? not? The book suggests not to. Natural two. Oh. You get everything you deserve. It is Atticus's turn. Mm. That's you, Joe. Yes. Atticus Grimm. <laughs> Atticus Grimm. This, Dude, this it map would be just, my turn. This map just freaks me out. Every single one of these <laughs> leaves, giant tigers are standing on, and it doesn't matter at all, right? Like, yeah. They don't bend or move at they all. They didn't bend when your fat ass got on one of them. <laughs> oh, no. Never did. Never did. That's why. Right. So That's these, why I was confused. These are tough leaves. The only ones that bend are the ones that are trapped, like the one poor Nesty Bidley was in. Uh, okay. Uh, Atticus is going to... He's gonna move. He's going to step away from the uh, the mama tiger because he's up in melee with the mama. The tiger tiger says, "Coward!" Very oh, scary. Whoa! They, Wait, it says English. that in common. Yeah, kill them. Sure. Uh, and he will. Uh, he's going to fire a ray of enfeeblement at the mama. Uh, and here we go. A little touch it. Come on. Come on! Uh, 22 to hit. 22 to hit. Misses by one. Oh, uh, no. Are I mean, you including flat footed? Why is it flat footed? Oh, it is from the, flat footed. Yeah, yeah, that's a hit. That's a hit. Oh! oh. 
Oh, yeah. from the fumble. Yeah. All right, great. Oh, that's okay. huge. Uh, so it is enfeebled one. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You get a saving throw. I do. Sorry. Yeah, that fortitude. Better. Fortitude. It's got decent fort, but I haven't been rolling well. Let's do a little neon green here. Decent fort. Okay, that is going to be a 27. Uh, yeah, so you are enfeebled one. Okay. Uh, and I will get you that info. Okay. Uh, all right. Strength. Up. Any actions left? Oh, you moved, and then that was a two-action spell? Uh, correct. It is Tiny Murder Clown's turn. Lot of tigers. And you've been instructed to fight with honor. What do you do? For the first time, I have no idea. Fighting with honor? What's that? Okay, uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, it, I'm going to trigger a bunch of attacks of opportunity if this thing has it to reposition myself to here. If they have it, yes, that is the key. It might have it, yeah. They might. That's why I took a step back. I was a little nervous. I'm no coward. Oh, I didn't mean that for you, Ratty. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm trying to set up a flank that actually isn't going to work. So I just move over there to attack it. Okay. And you slide around, and you get to the other side of the Smile of Dawn. Right. It works, attack. doesn't it? The well, flank? I think Sir Julie would need to be one square uh, to the south to set up. What? Okay. Thank you. It doesn't be, work! It'd have to be there. Right. Yeah. Right. But, but maybe next time, Sir Julie. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so I move over there, and then I'm going to flurry of blows again. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I pretty got good. a... Come on, character sheet. Don't fail me now. 31, uh, 32. 32 is a hit. Yes. yes. Uh, and then my second one is a 27. Another hit. Okay, yes. Cool. How you long need... does it remain uh, flat-footed there, uh, whatever your name is? Uh, one word, just until the start of your next turn. Okay. You, you need to make one of those uh, DC 23 oh, will saves God. for the standing fist. Uh, I made it with a 26. Okay, sounds good. Um, and then just before I do my damage, I'm going to try attack one more time. It's probably not Okay. Uh, no, terrible. So forget that. Two big hits, though, with your yeah, yeah, flurry yeah. of blows. Guys, we're all focusing on this. 34 on points dome. of damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's good to be back. Ooh. All right. Tiny Murder Clown steps up and messes up the mama as well. But now it's time for the other tigers to get involved. No, no. And the first one... This is a very strange and awful situation. <laughs> yeah. The first one is going to pounce. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and try to grab Aldo in its jaws. No! First it's going to pounce with a claw, and then I will try to bite and swing you right off this tree. Here we go. Uh, oh, God, these <laughs> garbage rolls. 18? No, that is a fi- that's a fumble. No, Shit fumble. stick. All right. Uh, here we go. This is going to be with the jaws here. Uh, 25? Uh, yes, that is a hit. Let's go. Now some fun is going to happen. Let me get my D10 out for some damage. That's going to be 11 points of piercing damage. Mm. And then when it's final action... It grabs you in its jaw. No, no, no. <laughs> Bad things are gonna happen next round. In the meantime, it's Nesty Bit Last <laughs> Oh, beautiful creatures of the forest. <laughs> I honor you and what I'm about to do. <laughs> and for his first action, he closes his eyes. And as he closes his eyes, He goes to a place where he sees himself walking with all of you somewhere. And he reaches out and he touches Sir Julie in this dream. And Sir Julie, you now have the effects of True Strike on you. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. It's a one action ability called I Dreamt of This. Nestor recalls a prophetic dream and grants himself or an ally within 30 feet the effects of True Strike. That's so cool. Wow. That will last so until the end of Nestor's next turn. It's really freaking me out hearing you say Nestor in this context. Nestor be day. Uh, okay, and then for his final two actions, I think what I want to do, let me just see if this is range of catch. I want him to cast Heroism on Aldo. 
Yeah, he's going to use his final two actions to cast oh. Heroism on Aldo. That'll give you a plus one at, uh, bonus to attack rolls, perception checks, saves, and skills. Awesome. This is for awesome. you. Oh, well, thank you. And he touches you just above, like, your hip bone. It's very <laughs> All nice. right. That is a like, very fine place to be touched. Yes. Like, if your aunt ever touched you there, you'd be like, all right. <laughs> all right. <there's, laughs> why no. did you touch there's, me on that part there's of there's my head? limits. There's certain <laughs> And now the tigers <laughs> are going to come. The other one pounces after Sir Julie. <laughs> and tries to take a bite, uh, a claw out of Sir Julie with another natural one. Yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. You are Man, ice I'm cold. I was red hot on Thursday. Ice cold time. Uh, okay, this is Ryan C. from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Skids Bane. <laughs> oh, no. What is this going to be? Wait. Oh, this was... You were attacking Sir Julian rolled the fumble, right? Yeah. Uh, you're not sure if it's because you slept wrong or you're just getting old, but you tweaked something as you attacked your foe. And now everything hurts. <laughs> That's cold. It's too close to home. Yeah. I'm disallowing this fumble. It's cruel, but fair. Uh, <laughs> roll, roll a fortitude save. <laughs> roll a fortitude save? Okay. Yeah, and it says the DC is per the DC uh, on the level chart for the Natural G- 20. GM screen. So that is a critical success unaffected. You're good. Great. Now I'm going to bite you. Here we go. Uh, okay, uh, 21. Miss. Miss. Yeah. Uh, okay, then with its last action, it slits its throat with a pen knife. It, <laughs> <laughs> it, it moved to me with its first action. No, it, that was a pounce. Oh, I'll have you know pounce. that was one action that allowed me to move and strike at the end of my movement. Uh, so it still has one more uh, action. Very low chance to hit, and he misses. Tries, he's trying to, they're trying to grab you in their jaws. Uh, I just want to give Ryan from Cleveland his his just explanation for why it's Skid's bane. Skid, this fumble, if you fail, you are immobilized for four, uh, 1d4 rounds. If you critically fail, you are paralyzed for 1d4 <laughs> rounds, oh. which is why it was Skid's Oh, bane. I see. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good. Paralyzation. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. All right. The, the one on this leap comes after Atticus with a pounce. <sighs> Alright, come on. Bad, Here we go. Bad, 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 pounce, bad business. pounce, natural 20. There it is. Uh, oh, uh, no. Not a named tiger. Critical threat, critical threat, critical, critical, critical threat. This should be a, a decent amount of damage here. We'll see. Uh, 24 points of slashing damage. Actually, this could get real ugly real Ooh. fast because of your AC. Uh, its second action is going to be a jaw attack, and that is going to be a miss with a 12. I'm going to try it again because I really want to hit you with the jaws. Uh, I still think that's shit. Yeah, 21. Miss. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. All right, so, so he's free. Okay. 24 points of damage. I'm rolling terribly. The last one pounces at you, doesn't, Tiny Murder Clown. Doesn't have to. It, it, it wants to. Okay. Uh, and I'm assuming misses with a 21? Miss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'll try the jaws. Come on. Can I hit something? Nope. No. Uh, and then it takes out a cigarette and smokes it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> uh, let me know when it's round. Is that three. one of those jazz cigarettes? Cigarette <laughs> <cheese>? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so now it is round two, and it is back to Aldo's turn. You guys came out relatively unscathed from this. So I'm still in this thing's mouth, right? You are grabbed by this creature. So if you put the grab condition on, you're still able to do things, or you can spend an action to try and escape. Uh, I am not going to try to escape because I don't favor my chances to do so. So, so I am instead... Be weak. As he's being ripped around, as he's being whipped around in this thing's mouth, he's going to pull from his bendelia uh, another pair of ingredients, and he's going to mix up quickly another dread ampule. And he's going to smash it against this thing's face. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, okay, that is a 30 to hit. Okay, and I just have to, Joe just sent me a text to ask you this. While you're grabbed, you're also immobilized. Did any of those actions use the move trait? Uh, I don't 
No. No, they don't indeed. No, then they you're don't. all right. All right. Yes. Joe, I'll text you back. The answer was no. <laughs> I never texted that. Uh, yeah, so that is a 30 to hit. <laughs> 30 to hit, yep. Okay. You're going uh, after the, which one are you going after? The one right next to you, right? The one that's yeah. biting me yep. currently right. that has me in its mouth. That's the one that seems most Look pertinent. Look at that beautiful, majestic beast. Uh, okay, so that <laughs> is... Another that is a that is five points of mental damage. Okay, and it is frightened one. Okay, okay, frightened one. Five points of mental damage. Any actions left? Uh, I do have one left. So uh, again, I'm going to pull another. Oh wait. Uh, okay, actually, I will spend an action now to try to get out. Okay, that is going to be uh, in the escape action. Okay. Uh, let's just look at escape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you attempt to escape from being grabbed and mobilized restraint. Choose one of the kind of hand up and You need to roll uh, a thievery check against the <laughs> athletics DC of the creature grabbing you. A thievery check? That's what it says. <laughs> That's not right, right? All right, I try to steal myself away. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I read this wrong. Uh, you, acrobatics or athletics. Oh, okay. Or your attack modifier, but I think uh, one of those is going well, I will try on acrobatics. Uh, exactly. Um, all right, so... John 316! All right. Uh, that is a 23 acrobatics. 23, what is Oh, it? no, 20, 20, uh, 24. Uh, 24? Yep. That's enough to get out. Yes! Nice, Aldo! He slithers his way nimbly out of the thing's jaws. Um, okay, man, you just got out of there. I wish that was the Smilodon. All right, so you're not uh, grabbed, and I don't want to play anymore. It is the Smilodon's <laughs> turn, uh, and he's mad, and he is going to try and do something against Sir Julie. This, is, this one's going to be fun here. Oh, come on. So much fun could happen. Come on, Neon Green, you son of a bitch. All right, here we go. Fang attack. <sighs> okay. Here we go. 31. Yes. Yes. Go! All right. Come on. 31 to hit. Hit you with the fangs. That is going to be... Oh, baby, I'm so amped right now. I'm so juiced. <laughs> so juiced right now. <laughs> Uh, 17 points of fang damage. Oh, That's oh, piercing. piercing. Then it uses its second action to grab. And then with its final action, it's going to do something called pierce armor. Ooh. Oh, this is why you were asking why what our armor harvest was. Okay. <laughs> All right, the Smilodon makes a fang strike against a creature it's grabbing. And there's yeah. no save for grab. Nothing. No. Pathfinder 2E. Maybe you should read the book once in a while. <laughs> Too busy reading Hustler. Does Hustler even exist anymore? I don't know. <laughs> I saw it hanging out of your bag. You had a 70s Hustler. It's <laughs> 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 <Just> weird. <laughs> Just the thought of Matthew, of all people, I know. <laughs> having a 70s Hustler like in his vintage, bag. Vintage. Vintage. All vintage. Right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, God, I'm going to miss. Uh, 22. To hit? Yeah. Oh, oh to Julie. She is good at what she does. He has gone from a smilodon to a frownodon. <laughs> and about 17 people said it with you at the exact same moment. <laughs> said. It's because it's sharp crowd. Sharp crowd. <laughs> Got to be sharp to get in the niche. That Red Romano out there. Uh, all right, it's your turn, Sir Julie. Sir Julie will step to her right to flank. Yeah. Yes. With Tiny no. Murder Cloud. No, 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 no. no, no. Not there. Not there. No. No. Left. That's, no. Not, that's not a brand new no. Sir no. Julie, no. 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 Stop. Take one step to the suit. <laughs> Take one step to the suit. Come on. <laughs> to the suit. Hey. Look at this guy. What part of suit don't you understand? <laughs> Uh, 26 to hit. 26. No, yeah, 26. 26 to hit. My poor Smilodon is a hit. Nice. Okay. Palpable hit. This is going to be tough. Remember to add that damage. Rage, rage damage. Rage. Rage DiMaggio. 21 points of damage. Uh, Good. No. 
Oh yeah. Oh sorry, I can roll. I could. That's supposed to be. I roll twice and take the better. Did you look up uh, Pathfinder two e two strikes? Roll two strike two twice and take. All the right. Better. So see if you get a uh, twenty. I rolled the exact same number. Oh no, <laughs> no. I dreamt of this. Am I? <laughs> is that? Is that? Am I under the effects of that for the next? That was just my next attack, right? Not all my attacks. I don't know what's going on. What? I wasn't talking to you. Skater, that's just my next attack, not all my attacks. What? <laughs> we played a lot of games this weekend. That, that was just my okay. next attack and not all of my attacks. For what? What are you talking about? I'm just going to move on. True, true strike. strike. Uh, it, it said you get the benefits of true strike until the end of Nestor's turn. Oh. Okay, ah. good. So I roll twice once more for the second attack. I roll a natural one and a natural three. Oh, so okay. What was the three? Total. Fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. Against the Smilodon? You're all right. Okay. Uh, Are we and that's my attacks? fumbles on not natural ones on attacks? Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's it. Yeah. That was just a miss, not a fumble. Step, uh, strike, strike. Strike, 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 strike. That was Sir Julie's turn. Now it is Atticus's turn. Atticus is going to, uh, in his very ratty way, going to slip through Aldo and past what's his name, who I could never understand what he said. You're standing on my spit. <laughs> <laughs> You're smothering me with your fur. <laughs> He's going to move away uh, and get out of the heat uh, of these tigers. Do they have a tax opportunity? They do not. Then he will slip away onto a leaf off the main branch position himself appropriately and then up to the northeast there is a tiger beyond him another tiger and he will cast lightning bolt oh beautiful that is work, not honorable <laughs> nice no, no, work no, no, not that, not. Uh, I'm sure these tigers have terrible reflexes no, north make it go a little further <laughs> Um, that's me. That's me. I'm just. Ex- I was experimenting oh, to see if there's a better okay. square. All right. So reflex save. The first tiger rolls a nat twenty, and the second tiger rolls a twenty-one total. Well, that's a fail. Okay. Yes. That's great. First tiger takes no damage. First tiger takes no effing damage. Oh. Brutal. On a rank. Brutal. Oh, yeah. What about the second tiger? What about the second one? Uh, give me fifteen minutes to. Uh, God, 16 points of damage oh. on 4d12. Oh my God! <laughs> well, if you think about it this way, Joe, if you had to roll 4d4, that would have been max damage. Yep. <laughs> That's a glass half full approach. <laughs> Atticus is having a shitty die day. 12. God damn it. But that one doesn't count, right? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> nice oh. work. Any other Not actions? Not about here. No, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, no, that was two action uh, casting. We're good. Okay. Uh, now it is Tiny Murder Clown's toin. How uh, wounded does the smile it on look? How wounded? He looks pretty in pretty bad shape. Oh, let's keep it going. Yeah, I went to, kill uh, him. Uh, I would be gentle. Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, by the way, in the, spirit, in the spirit of uh, Gen Con, I just wanted to shout out a booth that's across from us. Uh, I don't even know the name, but it's right across. You can't miss. It's Hero Pins or something like that. And they, this guy has this concept that I think is awesome. It's a little thing that you can pin. Vicky, you'd love this. To your, like, lanyard or whatever. And it's a damage meter that is just green for, like, full, yellow if you're hurt, red if you're almost dead, and then dead. So like around a table of like strangers or whatever, you can know the characters like current situation. Can oh, be that's kept cool. That's on cool. top of it, that's, that's, awesome. that's a really cool, simple thing. And they're heavy and metal. They're cool. They're cool. Yeah, yeah. We're so making come friends. by our booth. They're right across. They gave us a few. We're making friends. Yeah. TMC. I don't want to be friends with this Smilodon. Flurry of blows. 
Flurry away! Oh my god. Oh my god. The first attack is a 34. Oh my god! Uh, that but is, it's flat footed, so keep that in mind. That is a that matters. critical hit. Oh. <laughs> critical Tiny critical is so murderous! Critical, 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 critical. Uh, the second attack of the flurry misses, but I'm afraid to tell you you need to make another one of those DC 23 stunning fist yeah. saves. Please. I think I won't have to because it is dead. Yes! Yeah. All right! I know what your damage is. It only had 16 hit points left. Well, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> I don't even have to roll. It's officially dead. <laughs> uh, boom. Yeah, no! Uh, I would pray I still, for you. I still have two actions left. So uh, Tiny Murder Clown's just going to, like, lick the blood on his hands. <laughs> Dear Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Watch if it is tagged. He's I just have muttering under his it. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any actions? <laughs> no, the, my last two actions were licking, licking. my left hand. All right, that's right. right. Yeah. Nestor yeah. is just praying. Uh, yeah, little Jesus. <laughs> Watch if it is tagged. All right, it is. Uh, man, there's still four tigers left. The one next to Aldo is going to go right after you with a fang attack again. Uh, this is going to be a, uh, maybe for the 10th time in this show, another natural one. Yes! Oh. Yes! All oh. neon green, by the way. The monsters will rumble, oh. but they think we'll tumble. Fan oh. of the oh. Getting a workout for these trips. I mean, we are working through them. We're going to uh, need some people to upgrade their Patreon subscriptions. Yeah, seriously, seriously, we are moving through states <laughs> like hotcakes. <laughs> uh, ch- uh, Wait, why don't you do one? Why don't you do one nowhere near here? Do one like the other side of the world. Yeah. Do, yeah how about one in uh, Australia. Australia? Melbourne. Melbourne. I'm doing an Australian accent for Nestor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A fumble from Melbourne, Australia. Yes. Yes. Australia. All right. We got Paul from Dunedin, Otago, New Zealand. Oh. Hi, Paul. Hey, Paul. I'll are you here? You. Paul, you're going to make the trip. Is Paul oh. here? Paul. Paul, I'll see you in a few months when I come down there. You going to Australia? Oh, I, to I didn't know you were going to Australia. I well, New Zealand. No. Oh. The title is "Baby, Let Me Hold You." You get distracted in the midst of the fight by a string hanging off of one of your allies' clothes. What's more, you make to pick at the distracting thing, drawing the attention of your ally. Both you and your ally become stunned too. Whoa. Your ally gets a will save to negate the effect and rebuff your advances. No such luck for you. Very strange. But it is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, so both really doesn't work with tigers, huh? Uh, yeah, the string. Fur, okay. So you start pawing at your ally. I mean, the string work, it works even better. They're cats. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. All of a sudden, the magical ball of string. Maybe Nestor is like, Hey, kitty, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a bowl of yarn from my mother. <laughs> and he just throws a ball of yarn on, and both of these, I just failed the will save. They're both stunned, too. Yes. So yes. its first action was to bite Nestor. I then lose my last two actions, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. I'll and double check. Then uh, yeah. it moves to Nestor's turn, and the other one will only have one action. Nestor be dead. It's his turn, <laughs> and he is going to do, I dreamt of this again. Sir Julie is immune to that for a day. So he's going to do I dreamt of this uh, and give true strike to Nestor. Uh, st- excuse me, to uh, Skid. What the fuck's your character's name? Aldo. 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 Gives you true strike. This is the yeah. He lets you have that, and then he is going to cast another spell. Uh, this sounds fun. Wanderer's Guide. What does that one do? Have you heard of Wanderer's Guide? No. Uh, it's probably a non combat spell. Yeah, it sounds lame. <laughs> sounds like it. All right, I'll do heroism on you then. I'll give you a plus one. Oh. Uh, to all your johns. Okay. A little more heroism. This is the year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you, Nesta. Yeah. And now it is the rest of the tiger's turns. So the one that is uh, down to the south of Aldo and Sir Julie will pounce t- towards Sir Julie, and this will be its only action this round because it is stunned. Uh, that is going to be a 28 to hit. That's my AC exact. Actually, no, because I'm raging, you beat it. 
eight points of damage, oh. minimum damage. Piercing, slashing. Slashing. It was its claw. Five, five points of damage. <laughs> uh, Smilodon's dead. Uh, the one near Tiny Murder Clown is going to try and take a bite out of you. Misses with an 18. I am officially putting Neon Green away for the day. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, somebody gave me this die, and I wasn't going to bring it, and then I dropped it on the floor as I was putting it away, and it was a natural 20, so I said, you're coming with me, baby. Oh, no. And it's right for this moment right oh. now. 24 to hit. That's exactly what you need. Oh. Oh. Couple Johns are going to jump. No, don't jump. <laughs> 11 points of piercing damage, Sony. Second action, grab. Third action, wrestle. Okay, cool. I I make a claw strike against you. And if I hit, you're prone. So it just tries to lift you up and give you a DDT like Jake the Snake Roberts. And his name is John (laughs) Cena. Wait for it, everybody. And Here it comes. my brand new die, I rolled a natural 20. No! Oh, natural 20. <laughs> you are so prone. I mean, yeah, the whole thing with this is that you become prone, so you're like super prone. <laughs> You've never been so prone. In fact, oh, no. it wrestles you so hard you almost want to just fall asleep. Wake up back on the boat. How's a seventh level monk ever gonna get up from prone? <laughs> Don't milk me. The other one uh, pounces on Sir Julie to end the round here. New, uh, you nervous about this die? I would be, Matthew. That is gonna be a twenty-five to hit with the jaws. Miss. Thought so. Second attack. Another miss. 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 All my characters suck. Third round. Aldo's turn. The Smilodon is gone, but the Tigers remain. All right. Aldo. E- oh, great. Okay, so he is going to throw an alchemist fire at the one directly to his north. He's going to throw a bomb uh, of fire right to the one to his north. Okay. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. 28 is a hit. Right. All right. Oh, yes. Uh, that is 15 points of fire damage. Okay. It is on fire, and the other uh, uh, catty corner cat takes uh, two points of uh, splash damage as well. Splishity splash. Okay, but not your allies? Uh, none of my allies, no. Okay. Uh, second attack. Uh, he's going to do the same thing, uh, and mm, that's going to be a miss, I believe. Two, two strike. strike. Oh, we all have it. Okay. Two Great. strike. Uh, oh, okay. That is a 27 to hit. That is a hit. Right. I dreamt uh, it. Hit. That's 13 more points of fire damage, two more points of splash damage to the southern eastern one. Okay. Good round so far. All right. And you got true strikes, so you might as well attack three times. Yeah, actually, yeah. I will. I will attack a third time. That is a natural 19 on the second eye of the third attack with the third vial of alchemist fire. Uh, that is 15 more points of fire damage and two more points of splash to the southern one. Wow, okay, hell of a round. Good round for Aldo. Smilodon's dead, it goes back to Sir Julie. Sir Julie, you need a real heroic round here. All right, Sir Julie is going to go after the Smilodon to her east. Uh, I no longer have True Strike, but I still am raging. The strange magical rage is flowing through her, enhancing her strength. PK. First attack uh, is going to be a 25 to hit. Hit. Uh, that's going to be 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage. Excellent. Second attack I is going to. a lot of hit points. Right? Yeah. Am I crazy? What? These things have a lot of hit points. No, the mama did. These guys don't. Oh. They Second just... attack is just a 20 to hit. 20 is a miss. Okay. Uh, and let's go for a third attack. Why not? Uh, nope. 14 to hit. We needed a heroic round out of you, and we didn't get it. it if is... only you would cast heroism on me. If only I did. Atticus will waste it. It is Atticus's turn. Yes, I will. 
Rather pointless, don't you think? Uh, he is going to take a step uh, closer to the main branch. The one to the north that Sir Julian Aldo are fighting, uh, he will draw another branch of this tree uh, with a loose uh, branch he will, uh, with telekinetic projectile. He'll draw it off and drive it at the creature uh, and attack the, the one right north of Sir Julie, natural one. Oh, no. Come on. The monsters will rumble. The dice they will tumble. Fan the fumble. You're being prompted by the fans that are smarter than you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. use your hero Yeah, yeah I forget. I always forget. Uh, all right. Hero point. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. Yes. With, with heroism? Uh, that's a hit either way. Uh, okay. God, such garbage rolls all day. Uh, 13 points of damage. Luckily, Aldo softened it up. It's dead. Yes! Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Three guy. tigers left. Fucking trash. Look at that. That's bad. That's bad. Let's go to Vegas. <laughs> um, is that your round? That is my round. Tiny Murder Clown, you're prone. What can you do? I look up at the uh, tiger, and I wink at him. And I go, you're going to love this. And then as a free action, I use the Kip Up ability to oh, stand up. No. Oh, yes. Amazing. Amazing. Shades of Shawn Michaels. Then I take both. It almost like fluid action as if it's the same action, even though it's not. I take both of my bloody fists, and I flurry of blows right under its chin. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Using it as a heavy bag. <laughs> Uh, I got a. I missed on the first one. The second one, I think, is probably a hit. Uh, third, rubber, 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 29. 29 is a hit. Okay. All right, so you need to make a DC 23 stunning fist. Uh, we'll save. No, oh, we'll save. Net four for a miss. Yes. Uh, on the sewer. Failed save. <laughs> Well, for starters, you're going to take uh, 21 points of damage from that hit. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to attack. Uh, this monk is pretty good. Uh, I'll use my second action to attack again. Uh, that time I got a 24. That's a hit. Nice. Okay. This might be it. Uh, 21 points of damage. And that's it. Yes. Yeah. Woo. You punched it in its udders. <laughs> These tigers have udders. <laughs> uh, it's Tiger <laughs> 2 is number turn. No, tiger tiger two. Milk. Tiger 2 is still around. Now, is he still stunned, this guy? No. He's back to business, right? I don't remember. He was stunned too. Does stunned go, by, go down one each? Okay. All right, so now it's stunned one? No. No. You lost both your actions. I it's did. gone. Okay. I asked the question. I didn't listen to the answer. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, great. Uh, all right. It's going to uh, try and bite Aldo. Uh, and I think it misses with an 18. That is a miss. Okay. I'll try one more bite for shits and gigs and misses again. Yes. Just ice cubed. Uh, and it is nice to be listed. You guys are doing so well. <laughs> I think I'll close my eyes and have another dream. <laughs> uh, and this time he dreams. He dreamed of Sir Julian. He dreamed of uh, Aldo. Uh, so he will now uh, dream of you, tiny murder clown, giving you <laughs> the effects pleasant. of True Strike, which is even better for you. Oh, because God, yeah, I love that that's, that's so huge, much. Flurry of blows with like 19 rolls. <laughs> uh, and then he will give heroism to Sir Julie. Awesome. How long does that last? That lasts to the end of his turn, so all of your rolls next round. Uh, good luck, little man. <laughs> uh, and now it is the remaining tiger's turn. And he's going to try and bite Sir Julie. Here we go. Natty 90. 32 to hit. Yes. And that is going to be 15 points of damage. Second action grab. Piercing damage. Piercing damage. Third action, wrestle. It is going to try and bring it out of the ground with an arm bar. <laughs> and it misses with a natural one. Yes. Another yes, yes. natural one. Uh, all right, so that's his turn, but you are grabbed, Sir Julie, so please 
to stay honest. It is Aldo's turn at the top of round four. I have a feeling this is going to be the last round of the night. All right. Aldo is he's feeling lucky now. He's, he's feeling energized. He's going to step... Uh, yeah, he's going to take a step back and he's going to throw a, a pair of bombs. He's going to throw uh, more alchemist fire at the southernmost tiger. Okay. Uh, first attack is go going to be a 26 to hit. Yep. Uh, okay, that is... Ooh, that's 15 points of fire damage. It is on fire. Okay, 15 points of fire and it's on fire. It's on fire and second attack of the penalty... Uh, oh, that, man. Uh, that's 25 to hit. 25 is a hit? Yep. Uh, great. Uh, and that is 14 more points of fire. Okay. Great round. Great round. Yeah, you have really bounced back, Skid. Uh, <laughs> really yeah, bounced yeah. back strong. Real, real bounce back. Not in day. It's Sir Julie's turn. Okay, who's the, the tiger to the east is the one that's grabbed me? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go after it. A judgment call, but yeah, he's crappy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that is going to be a 28 to hit. 28 is a massive hit. Ooh. But a critical? Not, no. not that massive. No. Not that massive. Okay, that's going to be 20 points of damage. Yikes. Nice. Second attack. Hit it. Uh, okay, that's going to be a 28 to hit. 28 to hit is a hit. Ooh, oh. Okay, that's going to be uh, 23 points of damage. 23, it's dead. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Burning through him now! Burning One through him now! And as it dies, Nestor is like, Sir Julie, please, please, friends, new friends, stay your hands, put down your weapons. You got what you came for. You needed two carcasses. Let the other tiger run free. I will speak to it in its language and let it know that we mean it no harm. It's lost its brothers and sisters and mother. Just <laughs> let it go. What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't understand what you just said. <laughs> Please let this beautiful tiger go. <laughs> We've proved our point. You have the furs you need. Let this one go. Bega, tiger, run cool. free. You don't speak, tiger. <laughs> well, translate for me then, man. All right, say something and I'll translate it. <laughs> tiger, run free. You are free. Head to town in Gorbin City, Marmite. I'm on Scabber, Jumbird, and the neighbors, and the Gorm Lava. Flood the Munchak, and I'm Blurty, Bird, you call that potato. Who's the last part? Run free? Run free. And he goes on. That was the whole part. And the tiger leaves. Yeah, this is why tiger. That's why tigers never get anything done. They take forever to say anything. <laughs> Nestor says, oh, that was honorable of you to let that tiger go. But <laughs> listen, this is a bad soon. If these tigers <laughs> lived, that means Calvita has not been in this area. Though the five of us struggled mightily, she would have made short work of them with her abominable tactics. I must press on through the forest to make sure, but perhaps we will meet again back in our home worlds. In all, and with utmost respect, I say I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me, and remember, animals and trees are people too. <laughs> and he leaves. <laughs> You go back to the Zoogs, and they're looking around for Xantar. They don't see him, but they're like, ah, wonderful, a mother tiger and her children. They will make a healthy feast for us. Uh, wonderful, a whole murdered family. Yes, ah, <laughs> you can see the tears in the children's eyes. <laughs> Clearly, the mother died first, and they fought. Oh, my God. That makes the meat all the more sweet. <laughs> That's cool. Yes. That's marination. Yes, when children watch their parents die, and then they die shortly afterwards. It is much more gamey. Anyway, here's your tail. And you Plural. Two tails. Ah, 
All right, you tried to slip one past me. Here's another tale for you. Be careful with that. Don't use it all in one night. And also, because I like you. Take this magical drinking horn you can look up later in Nashville. It makes a lot of wine upon command. You may need that to find someone to use that tail with. <laughs> I need no such assistance. <laughs> Often we Zoogs will stay up all night and get chocolate wasted on the sweet vintages from that fucking thing. <laughs> Here's your tail. Good so, journey. Tails. Else I almost tried to keep it. Here you are. Good journey, and we will see you in Nashville. Oh, man, long one, Indy. Long one. Get cut. Thank you, Indy. Let's <laughs> go.